Hello. How are you doing? Even, uh, even there, dude. Uh, you, you even there? What's up? Hello. What's up, tired dad? All to real. Nick McCudi, marry me. That's that's how I feel right now. Adam, thank you for the prime. Thank you for the year. Holy smokes. Zaddy vibes. First live caught up stream. The transfer streams are not caught up yet. And an absolute travesty with my own scheduling, which I'm notoriously good at. So, K Doll, thank you for the four months. Stevie, thank you for the 22. Night Night, thank you for the prime. Pants Face, thank you for the 13 months. I'm back. Finally. Finally, all I see before me is content. Streams and YouTube videos is all I see before me. Bodicus, thank you for the seven. RNG hate me. Thanks for the 17. Great work as always. Thank you. Now for thank you for the 25 months. Tebow man, thanks for the two. Reese, thank you for the 16 months. I uh I bought the other Quarch Gelia from the SYS video. He's absolutely wrecking it. I didn't know that they were multiplying. How was the trip? It was great. I uh yeah, I had a great time. Uh great to hang out with the family for like 15 days. Hadn't seen them all in a long time, so that was a fantastic and a needed reset after the World Cup win sprint that we did, which I really enjoyed, but uh, definitely chomping at the bit to get back here at a certain point. What's your opinion on FM legend Woot Weghorst? What kind of name is it? That's a Harry Potter character, Woot Weghorst. I love that clip. Brogan, thank you for the two months as part of the Hammers. My goodness, Robin Wood. 31 months. Dude, shut the front door. 31 months. Have you seen the Shao Felix move to Chelsea, right? Probably alone. Intriguing development. There's a lot of exciting things happening. I'm just, I'm, I'm going to wait a couple minutes for everybody to get in. And just talk to you people for a couple minutes. But a um, lot of exciting things happening. Um, can you replace uh, Potter at Chelsea? <laughs> Give him time. Give him time. I want to see you take 10 first team players away from a lot of other clubs and have them still be as successful as you think they should be. Give him some time. Give him some time. I think it's a little unreasonable to try and toss him out the window this fast. I missed your stream in the continuing storyline. Yes, well, the storyline hath continuing. Our first match in the National League is in four days. It's four days away right now. Our first match in the National League. We've got our we've got our new assemblage of individuals. Yeah, our first match. How much longer do you think Potter has left? Honestly. We're about to find out what kind of owner Todd Bowley's going to be. I think Todd Bowley's going to try and stand tall and give him, like, more than a season. See, he's American, right? And <laughs> in the United States, you usually get at least one full season before you get fired. And I think he will probably take that. Yeah, I'm guessing you've heard that Gareth Bale retired. Yes. And I promptly started multiple debates on Twitter on accident. One, I said Gareth Bale belonged to the streets, and everybody was like, <gasps> and I'm like, you know, dude. He does. He belongs to the streets. Same way that Zlatan belongs to the streets. He doesn't belong to one club. He does what he wants. He is not derivative of anyone. Sinks, thank you for the prime. Van Gunderson, thanks for the prime. Mike, thank you for the 35 months. Jay Malinbats, thanks for the prime, dude. And Brew, thank you for the 11 months in the prime. Zealand's just vibes. I am vibes. Yeah, I thought it was funny. That's that's. And then I, I also said, and we can talk about this while we wait for everybody to get in here. I, I also said, I don't think the UK's ever produced a winger with the with the skill set Gareth Bale has. 
I'm not saying he's the best winger the UK's ever produced. You got George Best, right? Outstanding wing player, obviously. I think Gareth Bale has a completely unique combination of skills. The flair, not very UK, right? I'm not going to lie. That's not the archetype. The flair, not very UK. The kind, like, you want to say gigs. People want to say gigs. I think if you put Pete Gareth Bale against Pete, Pete Ryan Giggs, I don't think it's particularly close. I think Giggs was a great player. I don't think it's particularly close. D-Rob, thank you for the prime. Thank you to Lambie so much for the 20 months on the prime home. Thank you for the 17 months. Claymore, thank you for the nine months. Pierre, thank you for the six months. I'm going to watch that thing soon, I promise. Jorginho with the gifted sub. What's up? Kate, thank you for the six. Riley, thank you for the tier three. Well, that's for you, Riley. There you go. It's because he's Welsh. Yeah, that's why I'm saying UK. But it was Sport Bible that started the conversation on Twitter. They said, is he one of the best... Is he the best UK player of all time? I don't think so. I mean, there's so many, like, different options. Guys that I don't even know the name of that I, you know, but but when I'm talking about wingers in particular, I don't think there's ever been a winger with that combination of skills. His flair, his wand of a left foot, right? And his power. And when I say power, I'm also talking about speed. Like, his overwhelming physical ability his speed and his strength in the creativity to use it. Copa del Rey goal included just an unbelievable goal. Adam, thank you for the eight months. Sean, thank you for the, thank you for the year. Yeah, it, it is peak. And I don't, I think Giggs was a great player, but I think Giggs is also somebody that's aided by longevity. The, 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 the time that he played. And I know his FA cup goal will live forever, right? And he was part of those teams. Obviously he's part of the class 92, whatever. Uh, it's kind of right after that. Was he? I don't even remember. I think he was part of the Class 92, right? Not that I can list all of those guys immediately. I know, like, Nicky Butt. Um, obviously, Beckham. The Nevilles. Skulls. God, I couldn't think of his name. He was 92? Okay, cool. Yeah, and he's part of those guys that want, you know, they want everything, right? He won everything. But I think Gareth Bale at his peak was just, I mean, he was, he's different. I, he was completely different gravy, right? Completely different gravy. Yeah, I don't think he's the best UK player of all time. And I think comparing him and Beckham is apples to oranges, honestly. But I don't even want to try and make that comparison. But him and Giggs, you can, you can, you can draw, you know, they're close enough positionally. You can go after that. I think it's interesting. I do. Oh, that's loud. Uh, I'm going to go down uh, into this corner here. This is our schedule for today, lads. For today, Lavinio. Thank you for the eight months. We play Bromley in four days. Awesome. Love that. I mean, the thing is, if you're talking peaks like I just did... Or like if you're talking peaks, which I just I just did. I just started the peaks conversation, right? Michael Owens in that conversation, which I feel like makes people uncomfortable, uh, uncomfortable, right? Because Michael Owen, is he one of the best players of all time from the UK? Probably not. Almost definitely not, right? There's no longevity there at all. But it's almost like handing Jack Wilcher like, yeah, he's in the overall best 11, but if you're talking peak, peak of a player, Michael Owens in the conversation for the best striker that England's ever had. But that's the issue is with Bale, you kind of have to go peak because there were really only like four or five years where he was the man. And then after that, I recently he, 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 he wasn't the man all the time. He was the man in spurts. It's really been right. Yeah, I, sorry. Look, I I know the difference between the UK and England, Wales, Scotland, Northern Ireland, right? But I will verbally slip up every once in a while between those. And I do apologize for that, but you know what I mean. We're talking about the best players from the UK all time, and I mean no offense 
um, to anybody that is offended by like no matter how hard I try I am American so I, I it still happens I do my absolute best right I do my absolute best but no matter how hard I try I am intrinsically American so I I, I can't yeah can't overcome that all the way I can just hope to do it as much as possible right uh -uh. You we just ended Gareth Bale. I mean, Gareth Bale was over a long time ago, right? Like the actual full Gareth Bale experience was over probably four or five years ago. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> I was looking at this before I started the stream. Like, how do I want to line this team up? This is what we sing. We are Taunton. Zealand is our king. E-I-E-I-O, up the football league we go. When we get promoted, this is what we sing. We are Taunton, we are Taunton. Zealand is our king. Bruce, I love it. Hey, you're the 33 months. Gareth Bale was always overrated. No, he wasn't. Gareth Bale, for a very brief time, was the most expensive Great sale in the world ever. What is your thought on the very brief. Situation. Very brief amount of time was the most expensive player of all time. He, I, I, right when I was getting into the sport, right, was when Gareth Bale, like short, spiky-haired Gareth Bale was running the Premier League. Right, right when I was really, like I was already into the sport, but right when I was really starting to pay attention to like the Premier League and stuff, he was so good. He's not, he's worse, obviously, than Messi and Ronaldo. He's worse than Neymar, right? I think he is better than Eden Hazard in terms of career legacy and peak ability. I think he slots in above that level. And I don't think you're unfounded in saying that Gareth Bale is an all-time great. I think you are insane if you try and include him in any sort of Mount Rushmore, like, oh, top 10 players of all time. He's not, no. But if you consider, like, the top 10 to 15 players over a 20-year period, Gareth Bale's in that group. Cuckoo's like, I used to like you. I'm so sorry if... What I'm saying is is ending our relationship, Cuckoo. Ultimo, thank you for the 22 months. Rylik, thank you for the 26 months. Thank you guys for being a part of the Hammers. Uh, he's worse than Neymar, yeah. Neymar's so disrespected, dude. Just because he's weird, right? And he flops like crazy and he's just kind of annoying, right? He's so disrespected. Like, I get it. He takes a month off for his sister's birthday. He You, you sneeze on him and he rolls. He also gets fouled a ton. Because he's a really good dribbler. And he's like the all-time leading goal scorer for Brazil, having to wear the thousand pound piece of metal around his neck as the next great Brazilian since he was like 14. I have always been impressed with Neymar and what he's been able to do considering the amount of pressure that was put on him. Muzzy, Vince, Gustav, thank you for the seven months. I mean, goodness, Vince, 24 months. That's diamond bacon for you. Kogan, thank you for the 32 months. And Fancy, uh, thank you for the prime. Yeah, but Neymar, uh, and you guys, you guys, you hate on Neymar when he's gone. And, and, and this is like a sad thing for me, right? This is a sad thing, I think, for all of us. When he's gone, who's the flair player? You might you like you might hate on it. But when he's gone, who's left? Anthony? Right? You have Anthony over here like You say Vinicius, he's not an on the ball flair player. He's more honestly, he's more like Gareth. Right? But Mares Dude, when Neymar's gone, there's not going to be a flair player amongst the top five players in the world anymore. I don't think. Jack Grealish. 
Because ever, there's two things that are happening. People hate Neymar, but they also lament the fact that there aren't Ronaldinho's anymore. Players that do things not because they should, but because they can. Neymar's in that category, right? And as much as I love a player like Riyad Mahrez, I don't think he's in that category. I think he's just a player with nuts technique who's really fun to watch because he has fabulous technique. But, you know, you're going <laughs> to... <laughs> what am I what am I what am I in a relationship with Neymar and breaking up with him? You're gonna miss him when he's gone. <laughs> You're gonna miss Neymar when he's gone. Somebody's gonna put together that compilation and you're gonna be like, man, guys don't really do that stuff anymore, do they? God, what a player. Right? You're just gonna do that in your head. Like, oh man. It was different gravy. Play the video game, you dummy. I'm easing my way into it. I'm easing my way into it. I'm just saying. Like, Neymar gets disrespected a lot because not only is he one of those guys like Gareth Bale where you just, when you go like, well, why was he so good? Well, you just had to watch him play. He also is, he's got numbers. I mean, the dude has crazy stats, numbers. All right, who's our goalkeeper? It, it, oh, it's Harrison Mail. It's always and forever. Harrison Mail. Let me take a look at our transfers. Uh, in we're looking at Sean Green and Amole. <laughs> I didn't make that noise. Do you guys just make that noise? God, that was weird. Why would you make that noise? That's crazy. Zabras, thank you so much for the three months. Sleeping on Gerard Delafeu. Yeah, Ronaldinho is much better. He was different. Ronaldinho did it with more of a smile on his face. Neymar does it like he's that kid that you can never catch and tag, and he's, like, taunting you. That's how Neymar does it. Ronaldinho did it like, oh, that was crazy, isn't it? That was wild. You see what I just did there? Where Neymar is like, watch this. Ha! Loser. You know, like, that's, that's, what, that's what Neymar does. Yeah, they, they, like... It's, it's different in that way. Where do you put Odegaard? I, he's got Christian Eriksen vibes. I think he's got a Christian Eriksen type of career ahead of him. And hopefully that leads to a few more trophies. You know. Oh, Arsenal, by the way, dude. Arsenal. It's almost like Zeeland knows ball. I don't want to. I don't want to be the one to say it. I don't. I. I would never. I. I would never be the one to say it. But. But. Up the pack hook. Almost. Impossible. No. See Zeeland. I remember this. Not because I am Zeeland, but because I just watch a lot of Zeeland videos. Whatever. And. I remember Zeeland saying two years ago that in the next five years, Arsenal was going to win the Premier League because they had a very similar um, trajectory and emphasis on youth development that Barcelona did right before they just pfft, out a giant generation of incredible players from Iniesta to Xavi and everybody else because they were a big club that got bad, focused on youth, and gave young players a ton of first-team minutes they wouldn't normally have been able to acquire for such a large club, and then they... Pfft, back up to the top so two years ago Zealand, again this is not me uh said that arsenal was going to win the prem in the next five years now everybody everybody said he was crazy everybody Ryzen said stick to FM, but I was right, bro. They might not win it this year. I still, like, they, the city, but you really tell me in the next three years they're not going to grab one of them? They look pretty good. I know they haven't won it yet. I'm just saying. I remember clowning you for it. Thank you. You know, yeah, I appreciate that. Oh, my God, that forehead. I know, isn't it great? Zeus, thank you for the 25 months. Lime, thank you for the tier one. Ryan, thank you for the 17 months. Bob, thanks for the 22. Sorry, I haven't been able to catch. Kieran Deer, thank you for the 23 months, dude. I've been attending a lot of plastic surgery support group meetings. There's been a lot of new faces at each meeting. That's an A minus. That was good. That's an A minus.
That was good. Good dad joke right there. Sub Z here from YouTube. What's up, poppies? Jays, thank you for the prime. I'm a Spurs fan and everything already hurts. Look, they might not win it this year. Erling Holland is not human. Oh, I, I, if you're wondering why I'm stuck on the screen, I can't decide what tactic I want to use this year. I don't think we have enough strikers to do this, dude. I don't think we have enough strikers to do this. But if we do this, McCoy Splat can't play there. And I hate my wingers. I hate all of them. How many birds does it take to change a light bulb? One can't, but two can. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot we got this guy. He's so bad. Skull fear, they give the 17 months as part of the hammers. Oh. Where's Nick McCoody? He's on the team. He's he's on our bench right now. Oh. There's the flare guy. Yeah, we're trying to keep flare players alive in the game, and we're doing that with Miguel Ingua. Don't you shut up. I I didn't I signed him because of his concentration. His decision making. His determined I signed him because of his determinate his work rate. He works fast. I signed him because he's strong. Because he's the composed. Is approximately 70% water. He's a great Earth defender. Thus proving the earth is flat. <clears throat> Yes. Freaking nailed it. All right, so I just want to set up the team the way it's supposed to be set up, which is a little tricky because we're just been off there. Minutes since I've been able to catch a stream. Well, welcome back. Good thing we haven't been streaming much because we've been on vacation. I also turned 27. Incredible scenes. Yep, that is, that is true. True story. Zealand turned 27. Insane. Don't know how we let that happen. Okay, feeling pretty good about it. Feeling alive, you know. Train, thank you for the 25 months, dude. Misha, thank you for the six months. Ninja Panda, thank you for the 32 months. That is huge. It's the Chapanda. That was an A, dude. That was a great dad joke that I just read. The surface of the earth is approximately 70% water. None of it is carbonated, thus proving the earth is flat. Yo, that is good. The hairline says 42. All right. Makuti is still on the team. 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 Makuti is, oh. Makuti is still on the team. Thank you for your attention. Also, while we are here, we might as well go ahead and say hello to YouTube. Um, Mikuti is still on the team. If you're watching all of these YouTube videos in order, you've seen the off season as well. And so uh, you will know that Nick Mikuti is indeed still on the team. He is not projected to be a full-time starting player this year, but how on earth could we have gotten rid of him? Uh, hello, YouTube. Welcome. I uh, hope you're having a wonderful day. Twitch says hi as well. Uh, and we are going to now proceed to win every match we play today. So here's to that. Awesome. Let's do it. I, I think you're right. I think I want to do like a, like a bring this back and do that sort of thing. And then Ingwa's like my ridiculous sub there. And then we have McCoy Splat. Delano McCoy Splat. Freaking awesome name also. Just what a player. Delano McCoy Splat. Do I want to put Antwi there? I have no guy that can play the role that I want. Do I? I mean, I mean we're getting rid of Lee Lucas, I think. Can't remember how much he was into those offers exactly, but Jack Singa and Goyi, we have... Oh, do I have three center backs? I totally don't. Well, I do have Kaji. Snap, I forgot I forgot we loaned you in. Freaking love myself. 
See, that's the issue. You're away for a while, and then you're like, hmm, who are you people? <sighs> There's Paris. I love Paris. I do. To the robot voice! Will you be streaming tomorrow? Yes. And the next day, and the next day, and the next day, and the next... No, not really, but... Yeah, we'll be streaming tomorrow. <laughs> Whoa! Yo, 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 yo! A 50 gifty from an anonymous gifter! Chat, get, get in the chat right now. Did you catch a gifted sub? Did you catch a gifted sub? Do you have the bacon? Do you have the emotes? Do you have access to the sub section of the Discord? Did you just catch a gifted sub? Chat! If you did, be sure to say thank you. Thank you so much to the anonymous gifter for throwing down 50 gifted subs. Gadget throwing down 10 more. Everybody send your love to the stream editor Gadget. In particular, if you just got if you just caught one of those gifted subs, but that is the head of the Zealand Live channel, Gadget. Right there. Oop. brother is nailing things above me. Bloody Knight, thank you for the six. Shaq, thank you for the 16 months. FPD, thank you for the eight months. Chip, thank you for the three months. Another month with the 2028 U.S. Men's National Team coach, I hope. Also, I am going to make a video about the Reina Berhalter situation, so I won't talk about it much now, but I am going to record a video about it. Got it. Did you see Kurt 0411's FM uh, celebrating clip yesterday? Uh, no, I haven't. But I, I do know that he plays a ton of the game. Was uh, Who's that behind you? Ah, nice joke, dude. You <laughs> Contact center, girl! With the 10 gifted subs! It's getting wild. It's getting absolutely crazy. Oh, this is unbelievable. Look at what's happening here. This is simply preposterous and unbelievable. It's unbelievable. How's Dowling? Is he actually good? He's not bad, you know. Not good. Not bad. Contact center goal. Thank you so much for gifting 10 people subs. If you got him, be sure to say thank you. Gadget, the head of the Zealand Live channel. Love you. When are we getting the wow back in the soundboard? Um, I got in last night at like 11, woke up, had two meetings, started the stream. So today, probably we'll, we'll add it after the stream today and then we'll be good. Right. But we, 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 uh, we've had a pretty quick turnaround to getting back into the battle station. You know, I promise guys, we are almost done, uh, reorienting ourselves and setting up a tactic that we want to use first. the peacock this will work this will totally work my issue is the center backs because we do have andre burley who i love can play both wing back positions as well saint kitts and nevian national team saint kitts and nevis national team he's kittian and nevian which is just way too long uh we have Egwau oduka who is on a non-contract, which scares the bejesus out of me. And Singa Ngoyi, who's going to be in the middle. Never would have happened if I never discovered you channel. You said that. Hey, Reese, the editor with the 10 gifted subs. Reese, baby, the head of the Zealand editorial department. And an institution unto himself with 10 gifted subs that says, happy birthday, dad. My brother from another mother. Thank you for the 10 gifted. If you got them, be sure to be sure to say thank you if you caught one of those. This is very Chelsea lineup. Maybe too many strikers. Now, dude, we're fine. Muzuamba. We're totally fine, brother. Totally okay. Delano McCoy Splat. Great name. Nick McCoody is the substitute forward. Yeah, we need another forward, don't we? Because we have McCoody and Nee. We, we just don't, we don't, have a, we don't have another guy. 
I need probably need him. Massey's fine. He can't really move. Lucas is leaving, which is going to free up a little bit more money for us as long as he takes one of those deals we've got him offered on. Kyle Bay, how are you still here? I didn't like you two years ago. But he just turns down every other non-contract and we keep him going anyways. I guess, I guess we should have a fullback sub somewhere, though. It would be Sigiwan or Ingwa. We could have Ingwa on the bench. Where is Ingwa? Oh, he's literally on the field. That would be why. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. And sweet there. Neil is the guy that's like okay at everything. Where Ansui is the ball winner. So we're gonna go ball winner here. Was watching the Oriental Dragon Spots and I have one question. Yeah. Did you go visit Vanessa while on vacation? <laughs> Maybe. Ufka, thank you for the thousand bits. Perhaps. Two things we need to talk about. Bell retiring. We talked about that. I tweeted about Roberto Martinez to Portugal. I don't get it. I don't think he's a great coach. I understand that, like. He's done decent things with Belgium. The semifinal run and beating Brazil was fantastic, but he does not seem to be... It's like more of the same, right? I mean, Portugal probably could not have found a more... philosophy-wise, similar coach. <laughs> the guy they just yeeted, right? Why not all center backs as no-nonsense defenders? Because I don't mind Burley being a little bit more cavalier with the ball because he's actually decent with the ball. He's more of a defensive midfielder than an actual center back. So we're going to let him go ahead and take care of that business. Um, I might at some point do this and just go with like a gr the great wall of defensive midfielders and two center backs here. I don't feel comfortable doing that right now. We do have Daria Henry and Kinsella. We're weak at wing back. If we lose a wing back, we are going to literally be on Dowling or Asiguan for all of time. Uh, <laughs> Ingwa is a hilarious wing back option because he is possibly the worst defender of all time. But I do see myself using him as a weapon sub. But how do I fit him in? We have McCoy Splat and Ty Barnett, good options, especially as McCoy Splat learns to play defensive midfield. But we need him to learn that first, so we'll have Kamari Paris up here in the meantime. I can't have Ingwa as a sub, right? I can't bring this guy in to play wingback. Don't let me do this to myself. Seriously. Yeah, somebody said Roberto Martinez must be the best interviewer of all time. Yeah. Wait, people are way too negative about Martinez. I think that his results are okay. I don't think his methodology is right for Portugal. And I think they could have attracted a better coach, right? Like, it's Portugal. You've got talent falling out of your ears, right? Falling out of your ears. Disordent, thank you so much for the prime. Gadget gifted another sub. Velociraptor, thank you for the three months. So, Kerry, thank you for the three months as well. Thank you for being a part of the Hammers. Yeah, I just, I, they, they could have attracted a better coach, right? I mean, it doesn't sit right with me. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. There had to have been a better option out there somewhere. I'm going to do it. I'm going to leave him there. Why am I? Why am I doing that? Why am I doing it? I don't know. Distribute to Hamzad Hamdaddy Cargbo with Campton Sturridge. We are getting that other striker, though. I was I was saying we are getting Jemaya Omolu. I th no, we're not. Somebody else is not. Gosh, darn it. Freaking ah. cheesy pieces of that Somebody's always there. He's always there, man. Happy to see you Wake up in a cold sweat at night because somebody's always there from the National League and they're fully professional and they're always there. What will Dylan Kaji bring to the squad for the rest of the season? Passion. He can win games. Yeah, it's the guy we just loaned in. 
Hey, Tarman, thank you. Ross, thank you for the 13 months. How's the save going? Well, overall, I mean, we did just get promoted. I, yay, I freaking knew that was gonna happen. I literally just looked at it and knew that was gonna happen and it still hurts. And like, we finish ahead of Maidstone this year. I'm gonna look at you, Jemiah, and I'm gonna laugh. I'm gonna comment under your Instagram post with a laughing emoji and then Twitter will pick it up and they will clown you. It's gonna happen. I got fired from my job because I kept asking my customers. We are going to get green. So we will have the center backs to play the way that I want to play. Terms are cremation and burial. Back to back. Oh, Midwest. Where are you going to be? Thank you for the 13. Stormtrooper, thank you for the 22 months. I have a friend who worships certain shades of blue. He is a Scientologist. That is atrocious, B+. Andy, thank you for the five months. Good to see you. Good to see you. You look great. FICO, thank you for the 16 months. Luke, with the 10 months. Thank you guys so much uh, for subscribing to the channel, allowing us to do what we do. I just want you to know that I pay these editors a lot of money to make me look good, and we have a lot of fun things planned. Hello, Zed. Everyone remember to drink water and take your meds. Wellness check. It's Monday evening. Everyone needs a breath today. Mr. Shannon, would you mind rating my American Wonder Kid I found for Hemel Hempstead team in League 2? His name is Nathan Canavan, signed for free. Who is this Zealand person on my screen? Dude, can I have him? Holy smokes, man. That is a... Uh... Grade A young striker. I'm going to go with uh, he's 18. Go with a B plus. Got the good Holy Trinity. This guy could hang in most teams. He's probably going to turn into a pretty legit world-class player. Hard to see his potential because he's on Himmel Hempstead. But I'm going to go with a B plus. Solid plays. Solid plays. Charlie Only Mikey, thank you for the 21 months. Bagpuss, thanks to the 23. <laughs> Tell us a bit about yourself and your save. That's harsh. Cru cruel. Who's the Zealand person on my screen? Get used to it, bud. You guys excited for me having to get... Wait, wait, has somebody kept track of this? So when I made my Premier League prediction video, I said that in May, on the last match day, which I don't even know if it's in May. It might be at the beginning of June because the World Cup stuff. I have to go to the club that I underestimated the most and be publicly shamed in front of the stadium before the game. Which club am I in line to do that for? It might be Arsenal. I don't think it is, though. Because the Champions League one is different. And that'll come out when we do our Champions League knockout prediction. Is it Brentford? Oh, it might be Newcastle, dude. It, it, it's, it, it, it might be Newcastle. I mean, they're freaking third right now. Fulham? Oh, wait. I Oh, dude, it's totally Fulham. Oh, my God. I forgot. I, I, dude. I have Fulham like 17th or 16th, and they're 7th right now. Oh, it's totally Fulham. I know people were hating on the Brentford one. Where is... I don't even know where Brentford is in the table. I like 12th? 11th? I know Fulham is 7th. this awesome elite online gaming community. Up the peacocks, also known as Torn. How'd you get so much money with this team? FA Cup run. We made it to the FA Cup second round last time. Which was nice. So let's uh let's continue. Let's get to this match. I'm comfortable, I'm ready. Brentford's ninth. Ooh, it's a race between Fulham and Brentford. I had Brentford like 19th, I think. Oh. Fulham was 18th or 17th. So they're either 10 or 11 ahead. Full of, uh, dude, I'm, I'm going to be a Brent. I'm going to London. Woo! Oh, boy. Where did I put Newcastle? I think I might have put them like ninth. So I think I'm okay. King Jimmy, thank you for the 23. Hello. Otto, thanks for 30, 39 months, guys. That is a long time. Default setting, thank you for the prime. Welcome to the Hammers. Jake, thanks for the six months, the prime. 
Yeah, you wonder if I can just hit up uh, Reem and Robinson, hang out with them for the day. That'd be fun. And then get shamed, obviously. Now, we'll make it a whole thing. Um, it actually might come down to, like, the last day. I don't know how that works. But we'll try and make it a whole thing. I'll obviously try and get in touch with the club and everything. I think it could be fun. But, um, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to, like, go to a, a bar near the like it just if any of you guys are around there we'll like pick a bar and go to that one and like hang out with you guys before the game i think and then obviously like an hour before the game i'm gonna have to go and stand in front of the stadium i don't know how i'm gonna do it I, like stand in front of the stadium with a sign like i picked you 19th maybe like some eggs to throw at me or something just like give them to people that'd be funny We're literally the I like the, we're gonna go stand in front of the stadium with a sign like I picked you to finish nineteenth. Yeah, some water balloons, some eggs. Uh, you, you could be fun, yeah. Flim dangles, thank you for the prime. Yeah, I'm just gonna look at these two guys once we get there their uh, trial report thing. Eggs might hurt. Rotten tomatoes might be better. Maybe you could, like, break an egg on my head. We will actually... I'm just spitballing right now. We will figure it out. Right? We will figure it out. I like this guy. He is a really good athlete who works really hard, and, you know, he reminds me of somebody. He... <laughs> Oh, it's because this freaking jack wagon. What? Who do you have that hates me so much? Zed. If you were Lee Lucas's guy, I'm going to freaking... But then he would pop up with a color. It's not Lee Lucas's guy. Why do you hate me? Why do you hate me, dog? This guy's Rudiger's agent. What are you doing down here? <laughs> why, why? Why are you the agent for this guy? Go do something more important and leave me alone. Joe Duffy at the Tampa. The Rowdies are paying him more than I could ever hope to pay him. Amartya does. Thank you for continuing gifted. Fabi, thank you for the three months. Z! Fab! I have no idea why he hates me. But he does hate me. What? He hates you for wasting his time with this non-league BS. It's the only BS I have, man. Oh, I'm gonna have to walk away and make him even more mad now. Florian Castrati. Yeah, I get it. Oh, they offered a trial for Ronnie stuff. Maybe it's because I trialed him and let him go. Maybe that's a new feature. I don't know. Rising Stag, thank you for the 21 months. Lays, thank you for the 18 months, brother. Holy Gee smokes. Okay. Do you play any save, uh, saves off camera? No. And I find a lot of people burn out playing football manager. Why? I don't, because I'm always looking forward to playing my save with you guys. I mean, I do, like, you know, stuff for videos all the time. But my save is, is this one. Will you just go somewhere? <laughs> Will you just get on your horse and go somewhere? Louis Flower... Oh, Lewis Flowers. You're a worse version of the other guy. The other guy wants star player. Oh, Ronnie Suter. Oh, Ronnie Suter. West Ham and Chelsea Academy product. Ronnie Studer. Oh, after the previous breakdown and talks, 
What happened in 20 good minutes? I really want to record one this week. The World Cup. <laughs> the World Cup happened in 20 good minutes. And my various plans for that. Oh, good. He wants to go to Weymouth. Thank God. We found a home. We found a home for Lee Lucas, who we love, but he needed to be rehomed. You know, needed to be rehomed. <sighs> Louis Flowers, same agent. Yeah, but we did the same thing with him. We just trialed him and let him go. Dion Woodman. I and mean, he's good. <sighs> Did I put an offer in for this guy? Because holy smokes, Jaden Barber looks good. And he wants a non-contract? Shut up. Take my money! Why was I not? I think I just wasn't paying attention. No, but I, uh, I have, I feel like for the last six months, I've been out of sorts. What's the best time to go to the Today that to ends, wine. right? I moved. The move was hell. Took us forever to get everything situated. I love it now. We've got the office and everything. Then pre-World Cup run-up, 35 videos in 32 days. The actual World Cup, insanity. And no Taunton, right? Skip Thanksgiving then Christmas, New Year's birthday, which is always like go home time for me. And, but can't content at all, right? So the last six months, I feel like I've been crazy out of sorts. So if you've liked what we've done in the last six months, we've done that while being completely out of sorts. And so now I feel like we're <sighs> where we need to be. And I am so excited because now I can be like creative again and try stuff again and do certain videos and stuff. Oh, Jaden Barber went to Bolton. You know, that makes sense. At least we got ourselves in there at the end. Hinwa, thank you for the gifted sub. Oh! Troll, thank you for the prime. What were the rules being those saves if you get a. Uh... If you get sacked, I mean, I just usually don't, but I, re I respect that. I don't like restart or anything. If I get fired, I get fired. You know, hockey soda. Thank you for the 22 months. How long do you say your average work day is? Sure, <laughs> that varies so much. Before the trip or like World Cup, it was like 12 hours a day every single day for like 32 days. And then before the World Cup, it was stream, record World Cup video, prep next World Cup video, maybe do something else. It, it's, it's not ridiculous. I won't pretend that it's like I'm working 3,000 hours a week. It's just different. It's really hard to explain. Like content creation is different. And especially because the way your brain is wired to do it, right? I'm just always like, oh, I want to do this. I want to do that. Oh, this video idea is so freaking great. And then I'm like, I stream and I'm like, oh, dude, I'm so tired. <laughs> you know? Oh, man. You guys ready? So I, I would say average workday. Somewhere between six and eight hours outside of work hours answering emails and discord messages maybe a meeting here or there right any videos about training schedules i don't think we're gonna do a huge training deep dive this year because i didn't really change it that much um so i would say last year stuff stands let's go we're not last yes We are, however, the lowest of all the promoted teams. Borum Wood, who was in our freaking division and finished, like, whatever, four points ahead of us. <laughs> or, like, six points ahead of us or whatever it was. 
uh, for the league. They're literally picked mid-table. That's how good they are. All righty, kids. Oh, dude, Bromley's four to one. Oh, we're playing one of the best teams immediately. We were playing one of the best teams immediately. Hype for the first match of the season. I am too. <sighs> Scouting video is gonna be is gonna be coming. We haven't started working on it, but that's something I know we need to do. Teb, thank you for the tier one. Okay, so we're employing the peacock. We've got our loanee, Dylan Kaji. Where's he loaned from? Bristol, where he doesn't play. Uh, Neil Answi. Uh, Dari, I think you guys were trying to tell me that earlier. Oduka Singangoyi. Do we still have our player instruction there? No. Shout out to my fellow Jan 5 birthday people. I think we're going to have fun this season. I think this team is good. I think this team could be a really serious issue for the opposition. And we do have Ham Daddy, the Ham Zad. Ham Daddy Cargbo. You're back and Antwi's back. I think that's very reasonable. And then we have Hamsad, who's just entirely unmarkable. For people at this level, there's just no reason you should have somebody that can mark Hamsad Kargbo. Right, and then free kicks direct. Um, Tom Daddy in the wall, DJ Camden Sturridge. Let's go back. We're not we're not countering diddly squat. We are not countering anything. There we can wide. You know what we should do is even on the direct ones, we should get Hamzad out of the wall and just put Camden Sturridge in there. Because Hamzad just being present when a ball is lofted into the box. And on direct, honestly, they, they switch to direct way too often, right? And, and so they'll go to the direct preset even if they shouldn't. We need... We need Ham Daddy there. All right. Had to set that up for the season. Such an American with those shirt numbers. Hey, it's to disorient the opposition. We owe Bromley. I think we lost to them in the FA Trophy or something. Here we go. Oh, Bromley's literally four to one to win the league too. They're supposed to actually be really good this season. We gotta be ready. Deep breaths. Deep breaths, everybody. 
Taunton Town in the National League, the highest it's ever been, the Mighty Peacocks, beginning our quest for league ball. Let's get it. Oh, it's so good to be back. We ride. Nice, nice. Lewis Kinsella, yes. Kempton Sturridge, our electric new boy. Oh, Raff, Raff! <clears throat> Cardwell, oh, Hamzad. Good, we cut it off, we cut it off. Pick up in the middle. We're fine. Yeah, we're good. That's why we pay him like 40000 a year on a freaking part-time contract because he's a good goalkeeper. Is that Hamzad? No, it's... Why does Daria Henry look tall? Where's Hamzad? Oh, he's right where he's supposed to be. Why is Daria Henry there? What in God's green earth is Daria Henry doing in that location? Oh, let's go. Alley-oop! Alley-oop to Hamzad! Throw it up! That's the wrong guy. Lewis, so close. Oh, Duke is honestly good in the air, obviously. He's just not Hamzad. Oh, maybe. Ooh, Burley? What a step. Burley! That's good, though. That's good. Yeah, no one is. It's true. No one is Hamzad. Nice. Antsweez all over that. Oduka. Whole new back line for us. We really hated the way our defense played last year. That's just a great name, man. I feel like you just walked right out of Game of Thrones. Winterbottom. Oduka. Burley. Well done. Harrison Neal. What are your options here? Answay. Oh, cheeky ball. Campton Sturridge. Lay it off. Not to the to, to Kinsella, dude. Yep, good. Okay. Oh, well, he kind of... Oh, great recovery. He got cooked, but then he made up for it. He got barbecued like a nice Thanksgiving ham, but he made up for it. All right, card bell, play the ball. That's fine. That works. Ansui, what a dime. Captain Sturridge! Bring it down. Uh, oh, Harrison Neal. Box to box extraordinaire. We look good. We look very good. Kaji. Daria Henry. He's got him. He's in there. Why did we not loft that towards Hamzad? We've put in some good play to start this game. Nerves for the first like seven or eight minutes, but I feel like we kind of had the run. Oh, Kaji. Slip, slip him, slip him. Neil, Captain Sturridge. Corner. All right, Kinsella. This one to Hamzad. That's Hamzad. Oh. Easy. Suffocating defense. Honestly, didn't, you know, if you're going to be able to make that pass consistently, you do. Oh, terrible. I, I can't be mad at him, though. I think we've played better than they have. We just got caught there. Mm. All right. Whee! A little 
airmail there. A little airmail. That's fine. I'm not worried about it. We, we made him play that too quickly. I'm not worried about that. Let's get it back now. Card bell. Oh, Kanji. There you go, Hamzad. Daria Henry. Beautiful. You got to drag this back. Don't. Whatever you do, don't shoot that. God, we need that. We need that ball, Hamzad. We need the hold up play. Burley, that was good. Haven't hated the defense. Singing Goyi getting caught and hurt, but haven't hated our defense. Oh, on that second ball, on the third ball, somebody win the ball! Back line, absolute nightmare right now. Nice, nice. Why we had literally left and like left and straight was ours, and you headed it to the right. Good. Very. And Sweet's honestly been the best passer on the field for us today. He has done that like three or four times. Opened a whole play up by making that pass. Oh, Oduka, what a pass! Ref! That a boy! Ingwa Oduka. All right, who's our guy? Camden Sturridge? Sounds good. Yikes. Oh, this would be a really nice time. The, the, the dude marking him is half his size. Come on, Hamzad. It's the long corner. Oh, kids help. He's got him. I oh, he didn't bend at all. Never mind. All right, Burley's there. All right, we're positionally still very okay. Okay, good. Out. Stay on your feet. Good. No. Don't don't throw any bows. We're okay. Oh, frustrating first half. Frustrating first half. Not taking chances. Obviously, the penalty being the biggest one. Dude, we can't, we cannot score penalties. We can't do it. Who's on a 6.0? Campton's, that's not good. Campton Sturridge, our, our burgeoning superstar forward. Not full of confidence today after that penalty miss. But he has so much talent, we're going to give him some time. Kinsella. It's been a good effort against allegedly one of the best teams in the league. I am not bothered by that. Especially we've got a huge upgrade in goalkeeper this year. Harrison Mail is a beast, and that is a freaking punt and a half. Hello. All right. There's like eight guys. Hang on a second. Oh, he's got Cargo! Oh. Feel like we could have gotten a better chance out of that than we did. 
All right, shifts, shifts. Hamden Sturridge is actually playing his way back into the game, but what we're going to do is take Kaji off and bring Nick McCudi in. And we are also going to take Daria Henry off and bring in... I'm so curious to see how this goes. We're going to bring in Miguel Ingua. Who knows what's about to happen, but Miguel Ingua is on the field. The uh, and For those that don't know, special player. Absolutely special, special player. Slashing Pegasus, thank you so much for the two months as part of the Hammers. Stacks, thank you for the year. Freeman, thank you for 13 months. Beeble, thank you for 10 months. And uh, FM Wonder Kids, thank you for the two gifted subs. I see you. I see you out there. All right. We're going to have to pep talk him. I have faith. Makuti loves me, so that makes sense. Come on, Ingwa. Oh, Harrison. Okay. All right. Survive that. And then we're going to go into attacking. Passing the space is still on. Hit early crosses. Still especially on now. Take long kicks towards Cargbo and then. Yeah. Let's play hard, lads. Let's play hard. Come on. Come on. Neil, Antwi. Oh, nobody went for it, but that might help. Neil! It's a good shot, actually. It was going right to the corner. Make sure the goalkeeper makes the responsible play, and he did. Come on, run. Come on, run. <laughs> okay. okay, whatever, man. Whatever. Trying to give me these fake heart attacks. I always knew that wasn't going in. Ingwa with the throw in. Oh, dude, look at the speed of that throw. No way he's able to make this pass. He tried, though. I respect the effort. We're there. Easy header for Burley. Ah! Except it wasn't. Neil. Yo, great play by Harrison Neal. Oh, no. Oh, he had the three-man break. All he had to do was pull the pass off. It's okay. Antwi, I love his passing. That's a good spot to put that ball. Oh, mistake! Oh, McCooney! Oh, no! Oh, Van Bradley, thank you for the 22 months. Oh. <sighs> yes. Oh, Cargo, no! Kinsella again. Keep the pressure on. Keep the pressure on. Ingua, surely not. Oh. <laughs> Dude, if that had gone in from Ingua. All right, Kinsella. Carbo! Good changes, good changes. Let's make our last change now. We have Ty. Ty is gonna come in for... I don't wanna drop Neil or Ansui. They're both doing really well. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm just, I'm just leaving. No, no more, no more changes, your honor. Burley. Camden Sturridge. He's never going to win a header. That's fine. Oh, Kinsella. What a play. Camden Sturridge. Camden Sturridge. Are you shooting this? Is he shooting? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Could have raised the roof with that one. That's all my Kinsella. 
Early ball to Campton Sturridge here. Or he beats him off the dribble. Yeah, press, 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 press. Where's the long ball? Oh, he's got 14 jumping reach, brother. He should have passed it earlier. Now we've got it shut down. Like, I'm shocked that shot wasn't blocked. that cover we had the guy on the post but that was a threatening corner if only Hamzad could do that <laughs> all right hey stop I wasn't done making the changes you cost me valuable seconds there uh, bodes well for the season it bodes well for the season this is the fourth team in the season preview the fourth best team in the season preview and we absolutely hung with them the whole game uh, we couldn't find a way to score the goal, but proud of the way we played. We were right in it the whole game. Yeah, Bromley's four to one to win the title this year, so we gave him we gave him a real good contest. Excited to finally be back with the peacock. They have missed a freaking penalty. That's right. It's good effort. Good effort from the boys. Gons here. Thank you for the eighteen months. Just got promoted. First match. You know, for your first match with a bunch of new players and a bit of a new system can go much worse than that did. And uh, I think there there were bright spots. There were bright spots there for us. We have seven days until our next match. Halifax Town. Well, oh, good. We're getting the good teams out of the way early. Was, was it Halifax, like, top two? Oh, no, they're third. Sorry. Sorry, they were... Um, they were third. Bromley has been downgraded to six to one. Or wait, yeah. No, Bromley's been downgraded to six to one. Halifax is four to one. Now. Or the only four to one. Good for them. KZ. Thanks for all of the content. Just won the Premier League as Norwich in my third season, thanks to your videos. That's awesome. Gipple, I'm glad you're ha hopefully you're having a good time. Thank you for the seven months. Enjoy. And we're 250 to one. Well, that's not important. We dare to dream. We have the quality once we get clicking to make things happen. That was that was tough. But we played well. Right, I'm not dissatisfied with the way we played. I thought the back line largely was good, rose to the challenge, got put in some tough spots, answered the call. And answered the call, and then uh, we we just get yeah we got beat once, we got beat once. It was a good finish. We gave them one clear one v one, and they took it. We we struggled defending corners. We gave away two corner highlights. Didn't like that. Uh, I like that at all, really. So we can do that now? We can just take... What? What is that name? One of my friend's relatives passed away recently, so I went to the funeral to comfort them. After I got there, I went up to the widow and asked her, mind if I say a word? She says, please do. I clear my throat and say, bargain. The widow replies, thanks, that means a great deal. Denmark won the World Cup in my save. As a Dane that felt good and hurt in equal measure. Why is Kanye in this game? We made a great deal. Uh, I all B plus. Very well delivered though. Will Tree, thank you for the five months. And uh 50 months. 50, 50 months subscribed for IL. Head mod, part of the editorial team, an amazing person. Thank you.
50 months. Wiltree, thank you for the five, and I, under, I, I understand that pain. I feel it every time somebody sends me the U.S. winning, which isn't a lot, fair. Uh, 21 months, thank you, tender steak for that. Uh, yeah, don't let Kanye do a press conference. Yeah, Kanye Jobson. Bet he wishes he could change his name now. This is a real guy, apparently. Five composure. Never mind. Reese Hall. He's nothing compared to his brother, Reese Hind, but... He might be able to do a job. Luna the Husky, hey Zeeland, amazing catch stream for the first time. Love the YouTube video so much. I'm excited to grind FM with your beautiful voice in my ears. And if you stay focused at this time, uh, the dulcet tones of Zeeland will carry you home to your match victory. I want you to think of a babbling brook, a soft waterfall, penalties being converted. Your goalkeeper saving a 1v1. Seeing exactly zero highlights defending set pieces. Not conceding a penalty for an entire season. Now that you've achieved a state of total football manager relaxation. Oh, what? What are you guys doing here? <clears throat> what? Whew. Sorry. Right. Oh. <laughs> Are you to share a yeah, he's a, a, a tasty speed merchant with some tackling to boot. What level is he playing at? Southern Premier Central is in the seventh division, and they're st they're in the seventh division. And they're paying him more than I am, more than I would or would want to. It's just happiness. All I the the feelings I feel are happy feelings. All right, Halifax, I'm coming for you. Candlelight radio with Zealand. Yeah, it's all, it's all part of the plan. Uh, Sean Green, Irish center back, joining the side as center back depth. We now have like two, three guys I trust to step in and play center back, which is great. And he doesn't get any money unless he's in and around the team. Luca Murphy... Oops, on loan from Yeovil Town. Raquel Pike and Toby Stevens. I don't think we need to keep scouting Toby Stevens. Thank you very much. This is what I'm looking forward to. The guys that are recommending themselves to me. That's who I'm interested in. I'd like to note that I am available as a potential signing. Uh, I'll add you to the free list. Tom Smith. Great hair. I mean, just off the top. Fantastic aesthetic. And that... 10 points for Gryffindor right there. 10, a whole 10 points. <laughs> the Zealand Lo-Fi comp. La la wee wa. Yeah, you mean that, dude? Great, great look. And stamina, work rate, yes. Determination, long shots. Good for two or three bangers a season. 
worth keeping track of based off hair alone. Ah, uh, center forward. Not really a passer. Doesn't work particularly. Ah, uh, no. Will Mary, sorry. Too many giant holes in this game for me to ignore. Gonna have to change this. He's like Ronald Weasley. But if Ronald Weasley grew up in Luton. <laughs> Realize only like 35% of you got that, but... Roku, thank you for the prime. Oh, it's a man living in the 70s. Yeah, what that looks like is one of those cards, you know, where it's like, this guy played for Scotland in 1976. And you're like, nice. Worked in Luton for eight years, can confirm. Good. Glad we could confirm. Oh, yeah, James Taylor. Love the music. You, well, four concentration hurts your ability to defend. Good touch. Decent passing. It's got some giddy up. Doesn't like big matches, but I can only trust that assessment as far as I can throw it. I'll keep him. Uh, he was on my deep, dark desires list. You know, reevaluate what I desire here because he's uh, moving to the free list. I'm not going to completely get rid of him. I was coming in to add him to the free list. I did not expect him to be there. Change my training. Not used to having to do that, but I need to do that now. Sign Weasley. Announce Weasley. Soon. We're releasing like Harry Potter themed teasers on the uh, <laughs> club Twitter account. Hermione's gonna love our next signing. <laughs> what's the favorite save i've ever done in fm it's probably still bate just because that for me it held so much personal significance when the save started i didn't know what i was going to do with my life and when it ended i knew what i was going to do with my life right it, it, very real world kind of impact for me in that way so it was also a really great save. I mean, it only lasted nine years, and it has a mythology about it for the few people that did actually watch it because it happened so long ago. There wasn't a live channel. All of the VODs are gone. You can't rewatch it. Check DMs and you get a second. I am on it. I replied, I all. Our next signing is no stranger to Granger. You win. Congratulations. You win. That was outstanding. Here to learn about how to be promoted from the National League with zero pain. We started with a 1 0 loss, so we're off and running. <laughs> Got a friend in James Taylor. That was fantastic. Georgie, thank you for the seven months. The sorting chat has spoken. Oh, yeah. I mean, maybe we could sign him. If he doesn't want, if he didn't want money, I think he wants money, though. The audacity of some people. Harrison Knee getting more offers from Hendon in the National League South. We'll see. We'll see if he says yes to that. I don't think he will. He's turned down so many offers like that already. Kaya Shaka, we're going to go ahead and scout up. And Halifax Town away. What do you call a Scottish disease you can catch from that girl you like? A Makuti. <laughs> Ew, Makutis. Don't you ever use the name of Nick Makuti in vain like that. He is a saint of football manager. Don't you dare give it a better rating than mine. I wasn't going to rate it because he slandered a saint. Isn't that how it works? 
Bro, I he literally said that he was going to be upset if I didn't let him just, like, talk to that team. And then I let him talk to the team, and he's like, eh, I'm good. Ah, we play Torquey next. Okay, should be able to turn them over like a turnover. <laughs> Never mind. Festus, why, like... Give me one good reason to name your kid Festus. That is a name that has baffled me for years. Sounds cool? Festus. Really? You guys, okay, if you guys think it sounds cool, whatever. I It, it is a name... There was an old NBA player named Festus Azili, and I was like, I thought it was made up. I thought it was like Meta World Peace. I'm like, there's no way this dude, I love crazy names. You know me. I am all, all name team type of, like, type of guy. Festus blows my mind. I don't, I, maybe it comes from, I don't know, something. Festus. It's a great name if you want your kid to become a supervillain. Okay. Maybe that's what Mr. Arthur was going for. Was feeling it a little bit like, yeah, sure, let's do that. Okay. Awesome. I expect your first child... What's up, Dolly? I expect your first child to be named Festus. Thank you. Now I have to. For the memes. Family tradition. I get that. You know, my grandpa's name is Cyril. Suspiciously close to Cyril, but it's like a family name, you know? Pass it down. <sighs> Nobody expects us to get a result. Play without pressure on you. Here we go! We're all the way in Canada playing Halifax Town. Shut up. Don't say any don't don't say anything. We are in Canada playing Halifax Town. We have a great time. Yeah, see, I was almost named Serial Z. <laughs> uh, big Wheaties guy myself. Isn't Halifax? I don't know if Halifax is a cheese. It is also our second opponent of the season. So let's go, Todd Town! Come on, baby! Come on! Rah! Totten! Huh. You piece of trash! You human garbage! Three minutes! I was happy for three minutes! Stop drinking monster energy! You backwards hat wearing Kyle of a person! Three minutes! Enough! I don't even have a sub. Just kidding, I do. I have Kamari. Okay. Uh, sorry, Kaji. <laughs> Dang it! Sorry, Dylan. Oh. Three minutes. Well, that's going to make this a... This is going to be a day. Whee! Oh, and then he does that. Right. Okay. We need to breathe right now. Or we're going to have no shot at the rest of this game. We need to breathe. Right? We need to breathe. If we don't get through the next 10 minutes without giving up a goal, we're going to get run like 5-0. We need to breathe right now. I know I didn't do a particularly good job of that after we got that card. But... God, what a freaking goal that is, too. What a hit. Okay. Good. Because we're going to leave the two forwards up there. We should be able to pull something off here. Bad. 
bad time to infinitesimally get the back line wrong here. Give me to 25 minutes, please. Less than three. We can't have our back line go too deep because it's already naturally pretty deep. We just give them too much of the ball. We need our front line uh, to be low, though, so it can help out with other defensive duties. There we go. Now we've got some space. All right. Uh, well, kind of the idea, though. Boy, Burley, that was good. Daria, take your time. Ooh, yes! Cross! Cross! Hamzad. Hamzad. <laughs> Hamzad! You guys want to crowdfund some glasses for Hamzad here? Because, I mean, here's the thing. Even if you're going to shoot, right? I'm okay with that. Even if you're going to shoot, what was that shot? Right? Like, it was terrible. <laughs> it was awful. Male, too far, man. Oh, get in front. In front of the goal, lad. Thank you, Hamzad. Burley, beautiful. Daria Henry, right in front of you. Good. Why are we taking that touch backward? What are we going to achieve by trying to play out of the back with these guys? Thank you. Honestly, we have lowered the tempo, so try and control the game a little what is that oh. and jesus wept how's kaji uh, we had to sub him out after three minutes because we got a freaking straight red card so let you know when he's able to play had a decent debut nice save two babies now i didn't even know what to do with the first one dude thank you for the 18 months and the two twitch children incredible hank thank you for your first twitch child walking jk rolling it's actually pretty good it was harry potter go down hills walking jk rolling real b plus i don't want to put it above i alls you know i want to go b plus uh, it's a shame we gave up that second goal before settling this game down because we really haven't given up that much XG. Where are the match ratings? I know there's going to be some bad ones. Antwi's on a 6.2. Ingwa! <laughs> uh, Ty Barnett, your ball winner on defend. Oh, not Barnett. I wish I had the other guy. Dang it. We'll leave it for now. I'm not taking Answe off. 
I'll, I will bring in Muzuamba. I like Muzuamba. My my coaching staff does not, but I, I like Harrison Muzuamba. Hey, Middleton, thank you so much for the tier one. Yeah, see, you know, Barrett was like a step ahead of me there. Barrett knew exactly who I was going to go bring out. We can sneak one goal. Let's let uh, neither team has a shot in like 25 minutes. They're really kind of sleepwalking right now. I feel like there, there is a world where we could steal this. Like, seriously. They are sleepwalking right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna return our front line to a normal position, raise our midfield. It's gonna leave us a little open, especially in long sieges, but it gives us a chance to create a really solid numbered push. All right, Paris, channel, into the channel. Shh, play the freaking ball, Kamari. Pass the ball. All right, Muzuamba. Yeah, that's what I would have would have expected there. That was all on Kamari Paris. He had to make the pass forward instead of going back to Muzuamba. And that is something I can control by doing that. Hey, don't counter press. Oh boy, mail. Quick, quick, quick! That was good. Camden Sturridge. Oh my goodness! Camden Sturridge! Yeah, let's go, baby! Come on! Come on! Harrison Mail. Giving him a chance. Center back misplays it. Goalkeeper misplays it. Campton Sturridge does not. Mail, quick, 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 quick. <sighs> Play the ball faster. Play the ball faster. Get up and punt it. So it's the hope that kills you, dude. We have done a tremendous job of getting ourselves back into this game. Oh, we're gonna need one or two or more of those. We're going to need one or two more of those from Halifax. Thank you very much. Um, hmm. <laughs> Paris is on a 6.2. Can't win for losing at left back right now. Ants we off. Ty Barnett in for the last 16 minutes. Oh, yes, Hamzad. Oh, why are you floating away from the ball, Hamzad? Attack. He doesn't have the mentals to be a dominant target man like that, but if he gets near it, he is so tall. Singing Goyi, great play. You pass to the wrong guy, though. If we're, if we're running and we're on a breakout, don't hit it to Hamzad. If we need him to knock the ball down and you want to just aim right at that massive tower of meaty man, aim at Hamzad. By all means, aim at him. Buddy, thank you for the 11 months. Sky shadowing, thank you so much for the prime. Whew. Oh. I totally thought we were blocking that shot, but apparently it's going through everybody and hitting the post. Okay. Cool by me. Missed most of the last season's live streams. Here for the new division, though. Woo! Get save. One for the cameras. We could do that and then just bring Ty Barnett up, Shadow Striker, and Singing Goy, Anchorman, Burley, Muzuamba. Chickens are my friends. I'm happy for you. All right, and I'll even, since he's there, we'll get you off pressing. Okay. We ride.
not up though. I was looking at it. Oh, he's so offside though. That makes sense. Can't blame the backs for that. Oh, I thought it was over. Come on. Oh boy, Neil. Oh boy, Paris. Keep fighting. Get in there. Get in there. Oh, you. Good hit. Dang. Great fight considering we, uh, great fight considering we went down a man in the third minute, two and a half minutes into the game. Real shame. We, uh, we've had two big breaks in front of goal. We only scored one of them and they've really been clean taking their chances. Good hold up play. <laughs> Why on earth are you shooting that offside? Oh man. Hamzad in it for the memes. What a great controlling play there from Hamzad. And then just bombing it. Billy, thank you for the prime. Oh, yeah. That's freaking Kinsella. Two and a half minutes into the game, straight red. My set piece taker, integral player to my team. Brutal. But I'm really, really happy with the way that we fought after the first seven minutes. We dug in, played well. Yeah. All righty. Go join either of those teams, man. I'm pretty sure you'll reject a contract to both of them, Lee, but I hope you join them. You'll be much happier there than you are here. I know that. We'll do a match practice here and then do overall defending engaged. Cool. Ah, I want to get off the I want to get off the Schneid though. We played a really tough first match. XG bang even at like 1.7 and we lose 1-0. Second match, we play away to the uh, a team that's 4 to 1 to win the title, get a man sent off 2 and a half minutes in, give up two goals, get absolutely throttled for the first 10 minutes. Then play our way back into the game and and create some hope that we might be able to get a point out of it. Which was great work, honestly. All right, at home, Torquay, three points. At home, I'm not disappointed really with the way that the season has started. At home, Torquay, three points. With Ziri Williams? Yeah, he still doesn't like me, but they're in the National League North, so I feel like you're going to reject their contract offer. Just a sneaky feeling. Why did I just get eight Twitter notifications? I don't know. Nothing, no, nothing seems to have happened. Never mind. My phone just woke up or something. <sighs> Improve the standard of our strength coaching. Dude, I can't. <laughs> There is. Why is everybody worried about a lack of depth up front? I think that was before we signed. I don't know, honestly. I feel like we have. We have four strikers. What do you what do you mean? <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared by that. I'm worried I'm about to have like one of those imagined mutinies on my team. Hosty, thank you for the 17 months. Try one of the fantasy soccer apps? No, I, I, not really my thing. Media prediction, we're 23rd. We're not last. So, got that going for us. Jarvis Edobar, rejecting contracts out here. 
Jacob Reese Hall, Tom Sharp, Michael Phillips. This is what I'm always looking forward to. All righty. Talon Harris. Hmm. No. Ryan Chavez Munoz. I swear I had this guy on my list already. Now he's a lone list guy. Okay. It's not interested in me at all. Will O'Sullivan. Lorenz Ferdinand. No. Come on, brother. Give me something. Now I got to go looking because we're just not getting it handed to us. Kinsella gets fined. Deserved more, honestly. Striker. I need striker. I need a striker with jumping reach at 15 uh, expired. Kwame Thomas. You don't look half bad, Kwame. Uh, and Josh Andrews. You look pretty bad, Josh. But I, you know what? Where'd you guys play? Birmingham City. Did some loans. Kwame Thomas. Both these guys played at higher levels than I'm at. So if we can if we can get one of them, I will be freaking over the moon. Um, Tay Bruce, Sam Hooper. These guys are some special trash right here. Spectacular flash right out. Oh, what's the record? We lost our first two matches, but there's a perfectly reasonable explanation for why that happened. Um, so they're actually interested in a transfer, too. That's what it said. <laughs> there's nobody on that list. Um, there are, however, two guys. Lewis Darlington. Oh, the work rate. Yes. The work rate in the finishing. Hello, Lewis. And Matthew Watson of Northern Ireland. One of these four guys is my absolute dream boat right here. And a central midfielder with pace and passing. Bath City's Will Truman. Hi, right, Will. You want a trial? I know you've got a uh, got bid uh, bid from Taunton. I've heard they're absolutely wonderful. Matthew Watson says yes. No, Lewis, don't say no, Lewis. Andrew snubbed me, but Kwame Thomas said yes. Why would you snub me, dude? Now I got to scout you? What? What is the logic behind that? This guy might be really fun. He might also suck a ton, but he's also 16, so. Oh, Truman's probably bad. Kwame is legit going to make this team, likely. But it's probably the other two guys. It's probably the other two guys happy with the forwards we found. Might mess around and sign one or two. So it's just insta offered by somebody. Igbula. Oh, he's so bad mentally. That's why I haven't signed him. Malachi Reeves got an offer. Malachi Reeves gets an offer every month and he stays. Oh, he is leaving. Deutsch Hamlet. Okay. One of the original Taunton Town guys. One of the original Taunton Town guys. Had a great career and two incredible seasons in the National League South. Became a super regular player for us. He's moving on because he, he still wanted a bunch of playing time that we couldn't give to him. Ah, see you later, man. Thank you for being always a, a fondly remembered part of Taunton history, Lee Lucas. Two-year regular set piece taker. Six assists in our promotion season. Oludare Olufunwa. Oh, he's one of those guys I was waiting on, I think. And unfortunately, the offer hath come. Is he on my uh, 
He's on my free list? Why was he on my free list? He's a god. Um, let's go to short list and... I can't wait for the promotions and the Torton versus Tottenham match and how confused we all will be. <laughs> my mom's or my mom already says she just says Tottenham. She can't say Taunton. She literally just already says Taunton. The Tottenham. I can't even do it. We could shine Sean O'Brien. He is the guy that could be the signing. Jake O'Brien, Ellie Sims. Come on, nobody wants you, Ellie. Nobody except for me, Deshaun Bernard. Nobody wants you! Except for me! Okay, man. Okay! Get that through your skull! Nobody wants you. Except for me. Maybe someday. We're working on them right now. We're wearing them down. And someday it'll happen. Why do I have two Tom Smiths? That's the most English. Oh, but there is there is one Tom Smith who is clearly superior to the other, and we all know it. He's just that dude. Giovanni McGregor. Why is that one guy on the free list? Because that freaked me out and made me think that some of my other Premier League rejects were on the free list. They are. They're, they're, they clearly are. Like, Mark Helm! Yeah, he's a heck of a player, isn't he? See, these guys never think that they're going to drop that low, but then they do anyways. And that's when you see their career rebound, you know? Your ASMR worked. I just blew sixth in the league away. 60% possession, 25 shots. Let's go! Sean Luke Shepard, thank you for the prime... Thank you for the two votes. Romeo Beckham available. Ah, uh, no. He is honestly too good to, uh, to play in my team. He's not a great player in real life, but he's still much better than, than playing on this team. Come on, Jake. Nobody... Whoa! He wants to negotiate. Oh, I think I have to. I mean... I just have to. He would he immediately walk into the team best center back. Can I actually get this, though? Dude, I've got... I've got a lot of money. We have a lot of money. Improved facilities? Yeah, sure. Sure, I'll improve the facilities. Whatever you say, man. Improve the attackers? Probably not going to do that. One year since I started sleeping unhealthily no. late because of this stream. No. Up the peacocks. No. No. Well, I can't improve the coaching team, so maybe we can. <clears throat> Let's see. Can't see his penalty taking. What are the odds he's an atrocious penalty? It's not like I score my penalties anyways. You know, I might as well just add him to it. Um, preferred roll. Yeah, we're, we have to get rid of that or he's going to be mad immediately. We're going to get rid of both of these. I'm not happy you failed to come close to my client's demands. Well, that's not true. Um, the aims for this league season are top half finish. The long-term aims are to gain promotion to Skybet League 2. You can't just add? That's not how this works. You freaking cheesecake. attacker please for the love of god yes oh 
the non-negotiable worked. I am nothing but a pile of misery. Let's go, baby. Let's freaking go. That was so, that was so deflating, dude. Hamzad, what are you doing? Hamzad. Whoa, not used to that. A little atmosphere issue, huh, brother? Well, not an issue, but like. Not a good thing either. Dowling, uh, Hamzad actually went up, but we have like everybody. Oh, right, hold on. Invert. No, oh, it's going to delete it anyways. No, don't do it. Oh, it didn't do it. Thank goodness. We have a higher standard of expectation at this club right here. Higher standard. Okay, you got to believe in it. You got to embrace it every single day of your life. You got to reach that higher standard. Okay, and that just improved our locker room atmosphere. And we're going to keep improving our locker room atmosphere because we're going to reach a higher standard today. Higher standard. Win this game. We got to win this game. Good performance, goals, win the game. Kinsella really can't appeal it. I will. There's no harm in appealing the suspension. It will be upheld. Uh, starting left back, Nelson Isiguan. Welcome back to the team. From your hiatus, where is Isiguan? There he is. Can I drag? No. So, I like the team we've had out there today. Or the last two games. We need that team to get firing. Right. Good green in there. Honestly, Muzuwamba was fine in the last game, but I want to rotate that a little bit and give green the opportunity to get himself on the field if we do get control of the game fairly early. Uh, I'm going to take off hit early crosses because Cargbo is all about holding it up for Kaji and Campton Sturridge and Daria Henry and Nelson Isiguan to make runs. And so that's what we're going to be doing. Hi, guys. Let's win today. You guys think we're winning? Frixmer, thank you for the 13. I think this is the one. I think this is where we... Uh... Is that John Gruden? Dude, how did you snipe that? That is an outrageous snipe. Also, decent impression. Yeah. He was my old coach. For those that know who John Gruden was. He used to coach my flag football team. Which is a weird fun fact you probably didn't know. Yeah, 3-1, I believe. No, I'm, I'm legitimately not joking. I grew up in Tampa. John Gruden got fired by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers after a long tenure, which was successful. I mean, he was in the ring of honor. Um, and he, after he got fired, he still lived in Tampa. His son played flag football. I happened to end up on his son's flag football team, and he coached his son's flag football team. 
John Gruden was my flag football coach growing up. That is, uh, yeah. I always saw he was a great guy. Um, he sent some inappropriate old dude emails, and that was unfortunate. But I, my personal experience with him was that he was always a great guy. Zealand's law is I feel uh, as as terrible that he wasn't Jack's law is better in control of his own mind uh, when he was sending those emails and stuff. Cole's law. It's very thinly sliced cabbage. What was that? Captain Ginger, thank you for the 16 months. You guys win the league? We lost the championship game. Although I do like, it's funny that like Timmy's dad from down the street is coaching against John Gruden. That was always a funny part of it. <sighs> Let's win this game, dude. I did not expect to get into that, but no, I, my, my coaching impersonation is generally based off John Gruden because he was like the funniest coach ever. All right, guys. You go out there and you take care of business today. Spider 2, why banana? Do we have a John Gruden story this is the flag football season? I mean, no, there's something really crazy. He called some wild plays. It was like in a, a baseball, he would have the like signs from the sideline. Like this 12 year old quarterback, like, Spider 2, why banana? Yeah, dude, he, he got he got hit jobbed pretty bad by the NFL, honestly. I felt terrible for him. I know his whole family and everything. I felt uh felt terrible for them too. Got caught up in the very dysfunctional team in Washington. And they were trying to hit Washington and then they hit Gruden, he got like caught in the crossfire. a text that uh yeah it's just like old guys being creeps right but that, they, you know they don't understand that everything is tracked right but that that was that's not what i'm laughing at that's really like yeah um john gruden's worst part was aired and i i felt bad for him and his entire family but he was a great coach for a long time and he was a great coach to me a good friend um i just got a text that said the worst tweet of all time <laughs> and it's this like dude i don't know one of those like hacks that's like climate change is fake man and somebody wrote an article about how like you know wind they're like making the argument to install more wind turbines and the dude quote tweets it i'm sorry i need to pause to pause all this we're gonna play this game i swear the dude quote tweets it and goes, why do you support wind power? Don't you know that wind power is what powered the slave trade across the Atlantic? And you're just like, whoa, dude, how is this, this, is, the stupidest, this is the stupidest argument I've ever heard in my life? She's so just like reaching back and just the first thing he grabs, he throws like, oh God, what was that argument? Oh, shoot. My bad. <laughs> it's like, what? His argument against wind turbines is that it powered the ships. Dude. This is the wildest argument. I mean, that is the dumbest thing I've seen in an incredibly long time. Yeah, I expect to see a much better performance today. Ha! Oh, let's go team. Like, yeah, it's like, I hate electricity because lightning has killed 15 people this year. We should never use electricity. Ever. Turn off your computer right now. Electricity is a murderer. Wind is racist. Cancel the elements. Nim! Whoa! Chat! Chat! Defend the raid! 
Get emotes. We're being overrun. Get the emotes. We've been attacked by Nim. I hope you had a good stream, Nim. I hope the move went well. We need to throw emotes in the chat. We've been assaulted by a wave of enemy emotes. I don't know if you've ever seen the movie 300. That's what we need from you right now. Welcome into the stream. My name's Zealand. Nim pretends to be my friend. I appreciate him for it. I wasn't able to record the thing for his New Year's show, which I felt terrible for, but I was traveling. Yeah, hello, this is Zealand. No, this is Patrick. And we're playing a game called Football Manager. It's like FIFA career mode, except you're just really into it. We're in the fifth division of England. We're the team in purple. Those are the good guys we're rooting for. Come on. No, 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 this is not the time to hug him, Burley. Huh, okay, sorry. Penalty to them. We bounce back from this. We bounce back. Save, easy save. Encourage. Really nothing had happened in this game until that either. Hi. Good read by Mail to they didn't have a shot. We're fouling a guy 16 yards away from the goal who's backpedaling to try and head a ball. Stupidity of the highest order. Once again from the lads. Oh, that's a good header. Bad touch. Hey. This would be fun. Oh, he passed it. Oh, yeah! Calm, Daddy. Calm, Daddy. Hamzad Cargbo, six feet, six inches of man. One, one. Aftkamer, thank you so much for the three gifted. Welcome to the Hammers. Enjoy the bacon, enjoy the emotes. Make sure to say thank you to Aftkamer. If you happen to catch that gifted, get in his way. Good. Our ball, yes. Punt, 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 punt. Oh, that wasn't a highlight, really? Good response. Good response. Flex, thank you so much for the three, my dude. Good response. That was good. That was good. We're fine. We've been the better team. I believe that. I thoroughly believe that. We had the momentum block for every five-minute segment before they scored their penalty, and then we had the majority of the momentum blocks after. We got our goal from a lovely set piece from Harrison Neal, who's playing very well nonstop this year. Oh, yeah. What a player. We on that? Yeah, but we're not on the next ball. This is on, uh, this is on my boy Burley right here. You got to pinch in. He didn't pinch in enough. Like if Singa and Goyi follows up the middle, you have to pinch in. And they don't do a good job of that usually. And I know that. Good save. Ken Himura, thank you so much for the prime, my dude. And Eagle, thank you for the four months. Kaji, uh, Cargbo, yes, Neil. Oh, clever. Oduka. 
Oduka, good. Is see you on. Okay. Oh, yes! Captain Sturridge! Carbo! Yeah! Pass by Camden Sturridge. Brilliant. It's a beautiful pass. Wall pass. <sighs> on it, on it. Uh. Run. Thank you, Aduka. God's mark for it. No. Leave me alone. No, leave me alone. No. Ooh, yikes. Weird save. Rob, thank you for the 13 months. Karg Daddy. Karg Bogo Janito, brother. Karg Bogo Janito. Thanks, Neil. <laughs> Damn, did you have to wait that long? Really? You have to wait that long? Really? Well, I'll put him under pressure. Chaos merchants, we are. Haji. Ooh, Aduka. Campton Sturridge, where's the cross? <gasps> the hat trick! <laughs> It's liquid football. It's liquid football. It's Hamzad Kargbo with a hat trick for Taunton Town. Compton Sturridge to Ham Daddy Kargbo. Brilliant football. I told you we were fine. I told you. I knew we were okay. Camden Sturridge is the real target man. Sub! Kamari. Delano. Sorry. Delano McCoy Splat. Legitimately sounds like a guy from East West Bowl, but we rock with him anyways. Hom Daddy. Um, no. Nah. Oh, I wanted to get Sean Green in. Yeah, let's get Sean Green in. Give him 15. Play Antswe. Ooh, Camden Sturridge. Woo-hoo-hoo! Woo-hoo! Just like bark at the guy. Just wooing for no reason. Oh, he's on. He's on. He's on. It's his ball. It's his night. I'm good. <clears throat> I can't build I can't build it up like that if you're gonna miss, okay? It makes me look like an idiot. I'm okay with you shooting that, but you, you cannot miss <laughs> from there. Like I get that you don't want to pass that because it's so open, but you oh great header Campton Sturridge. What an atrocious first touch that was. Oh, dude. Brother. But we are, after promotion, in line for our first win. Oh, I thought that was a... Oh, our first win at the new level. Overcoming, conceding a penalty. Hom Daddy Cargbo. Delano McCoy Splat. Campton Sturridge. Nope. Nope. Delano McCoy Splat. Good pressure. Ooh, card bell, little target man action. Dude, no way. Just turns around 30 yards away. I mean, you're on a hat trick, I guess. We didn't get enough time to love Sebastian Beaver. I know. I know. It was an unfortunate... 
unfortunate journey there. Oh, hey, ref. Hey. It's a red card where I come from. Cargo? Oh, no. It is an inspiring hat trick from Cargo. Honestly, loved our defense in that game. We gave away one clear chance. It was the penalty, which was not a we got broke down. It was just a stupid play. And if you can overcome making those stupid plays on a given day, like if you can overcome that by winning anyways, that's great. That is great. So McCoy Splat is amazing. Well, he's just working his way into the team. Player of the week news. Nice. Nice. Totally tubular, dude. Nah. Not really that good, are you? Recent form analysis. Two out of the two assists we've conceded have been from outside the penalty area. going to use some of that information they said one of the 78 attacks that produced a shot on goal um one of the 78 went through kaji so we need to move him around a little bit we need to find the best place for kaji to be and i think man, not shadow striker i'm thinking we maybe just do that like just have a guy that starts a little further up the field kind of connects the defense with the offense he's actually a pretty good defensive player uh so maybe we want to keep that rolling Allow him to involve him. When I say keep that rolling, like allow him to involve himself defensively. Be around. Oh, Waziri Williams. He just, he's like about to sign a deal somewhere. I like Waziri Williams, but he has huge mental gaps. Time and thank you for the three months as part of the Hammers. Hello from Brazil. Love to Brazil. How you doing? Hardest league to win in the English Pyramid. I mean, the top one, but um, the two hardest leagues to get out of are the league we're in now, National League, which we just got promoted into, and the championship. League one, league two, and the north-south are pretty approachable. If you know your way around the game, they're, they're pretty approachable, right? National League north-south is really approachable because basically everybody you sign improves your team, right? Like there's a million guys out there that can make you good enough. This level is particularly hard because there are a significant number of fully professional teams, and we're not. We're not even particularly close to being fully professional, and that is really challenging because over the course of a season, they train more, uh, a lot more together than we do, and that gives them so much more tactical familiarity. Their attributes develop better. Uh, they're able to play longer in the games themselves uh, because they're in better shape. Yeah, it's a lot of issues that come from that. And then the championship is the gap between League One level and the Premier League is freaking massive. So you're playing bad Premier League teams at the top of that league. And then at the bottom is, you know, teams that there's not a huge difference between National League and League One, like equality. Malachi Reeve is staying. Good deal. Oliver Denham. Love you. Don't want to sign you. Tyler Cordner. Let's just round out the scouting, I guess. Yeah, only two promotion slots. There's automatic and then playoff. So, like, if you finish top seven, you go up through the playoff, uh, which our goal this year is to get into the playoffs. I'm not necessarily expecting us to, like, explode out of the playoff. Thierry never has just signed for 84,000. Are you serious right now? Holy smokes. Enoch Asante, he got the deal. 
Who is Great Olympics? Oh, he went to Ghana. Okay. 128000 a year. Dude's on my shortlist in this economy. Yeah. So you, the, the promotion playoffs are for one spot. But I'm a, you know, I'm a tournament manager. We've had two good FA Cup runs to the FA Cup proper both times. And Almost two years. We got to the playoff final our first season of the National League North-South with a team that was supposed to finish... Uh, 23rd out of 24, and that is exactly what we're aiming for again. We're picked to finish 23rd out of 24. We're going to come in here and rock this world up. How do you have a professional team? Financially, you need to be able to afford it, and then you transition into it, and there's this weird transitional period where you still have guys on their semi-pro contracts, and if you can afford it, you want to upgrade especially all of the good young players to... Uh, fully professional contracts so that they can develop all your first team players to fully professional contracts and then keep like your backups on non-contract semi-pro deals uh, so that you can make that transition oftentimes i've found the best way to transition to professionalism is when it becomes so obvious that the change just has to be made and that uh, typically is you get promoted into a division that is um high enough like if I get promoted, right? Let's say we get promoted this season. League two, you have to be a professional team to play in league two. So we will automatically be upgraded to professional upon being promoted from this division. Because the next league has, you like legally have to be professional according to league rules. And there's not a whole lot of avenues toward making the million or so dollars you probably need to go pro down here unless we have a super deep run in the FA Cup which I don't think we're going to make that kind of run you know we might get to the third round this year if we get the right draw and that would be awesome but yep Luca thank you for the 23 months yeah but league two is automatic professionalism say you're in a league like uh Wales though let's say you're in Wales and the league is not guaranteed professional. Well, then you need to have a deep run in Europe to where you get the checks in to your bank account, like a big European check. And by big, I mean getting to literally like the third round of Champions League qualifying would do it. Like you would get a check for $1.5 million and immediately go professional. That's if promotion is not going to take care of it for you. Let's start Paris instead of Isiguan. Isiguan wasn't actually screw that Burley Singangoy Oduka Daria Henry Harrison Neal Cameron Antry Siguan Dylan Kaji Hamzad Kargbo Camden Sturridge Makudi yeah I'm good with where we're at I thought we played pretty well in the last game Certainly controlled the majority of the game. Windus, Fenia, uh, Fenimo, Dice, Hardy. Okay. Now we're picking the same team right now. We need to build good vibes, good connections between the guys in this team. Away to South Shield. So they're fourth in the league right now. This could be a real statement from us if we can go grab something from them. Why is managing United harder than a semi-pro team? It can be. Yeah, if you end up with some bad contracts or a couple of injuries, it can be really difficult to manage a big team and football manager. There's also a lot more to manage, a lot more players that you can make mistakes on with contracts, right? A lot more staff you have to deal with, a lot more scouting you have to deal with. Semi-pro is preferred by some people because it's a lot simpler. There's like five guys in your staff. Your team is like 18 to 20 guys. No reserve team, no lone army, right? It's just these dudes. Okay, if they got the timing right on that, we would have been carved. Longest save you managed? You got to 2048 one time. It was a full journeyman. Started as a semi-pro manager and ended up at Barcelona. Ooh, Hobson! How oh, yeah. Oh, he wasn't even close. He took it on his left. I don't know what he's doing there. Pouring rain. It just breaks for Hamzad. That was a bad header. Neil is really... Oh, he ran into... It. Yeah, they ran into each other. Thank you, Harrison Mail. 
He's honestly done just about everything we would have hoped from him so far, Harrison Mail. Ruane, where are you headed? Can you be accompanied by Cameron Antwi? That was gorgeous. I don't know if there's a whole lot of defense for that. They held the line high and then played a an in-swinging beauty of a ball. Okay, come on now. But that was right back. Do we really want to sell out like that? I guess on Ruane, yes. Because it looks like their fullbacks are real problems. So we need to get in. We need to get into them. They both already have assists this year. Oh, dude. I mean, it's my best aerial center back. Loses to a winger. And then my goalkeeper has a mare. Just need to get just need to keep our head screwed on straight. Keep playing our game. That's not a, it wasn't too much tactical in that. Off the freaking short throw in stuff. That's always so hard to defend. Kaji. All right, Kaji. That's better. He might be on because of the right back here. Lay it off. Daria Henry into the middle. Neil. Ooh. Lay it off again. Lay it off again. Lay it off again. Or cross it yourself. Cargo. Oh. That was good, though. We're there again. Good. We had like three guys ready for that one. Oh, man. What? A, are you kidding? Oh, my goodness. We're just getting trounced in these scrambles right now. We're getting abused like these soft balls towards the box. We shouldn't be. We're a pretty good aerial team. I think our worst center back is uh, Burley is like a 10 or 11. We have a good aerial presence back there, but we are... We're dirty. We're not playing clean back there. Very dirty. That's fine. That's totally fine. This might actually... Nope. Ooh, card bell. Okay. Is Siguan? Oh, yes! Oh! Singy, thank you for the prime. Oh, it's not like, that's not a huge choke, but that was a pretty nice chance. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Run. Run. Just run. You're faster than this guy. Uh, it's good hold up play though. Neil, good knockdown. Very good. That ev everything until the 35 yard shot attempt, Harrison, was great. Oh, that is unlucky. About to say, what a great tackle.
Okay, we need to make some changes there. His Neil got dragged out of position, closing down the fullback. That opened up the passing lane, and it was three on two. Burley recovered, but it was just like a mop-up operation after that. I'm gonna give Daria Henry the opportunity to make those crosses more, and then we have to essentially switch all of these things because Hamzad is so integral to everything we're doing. Why is there not just like a prompt that pops up that's like, do you want them to, you know, do you want them to switch set piece duties as well? Yes. Oh, okay, cool. Nice. All right. Pep talk. Here we go. Second half. Let's do it. Tough first half. Had some decent looks forward. Just loose. Oh, Sengi, thank you for the kind words, dude. See if we can inspire with this second half performance, okay? Uh, easy, and then yeah, quick. Yeah, you got the three up there. Any day now, Mel. Oh, yeah, and it switches the... Um, Oh, that, are oh, you kidding me? That actually, the set pieces don't change at all, but that actually follows him. I mean, better than nothing, I guess. Daria Henry, play him, play him. Get that storage. Oh, he was offside anyways. Hmm. We're there. Good. Burley. Good. Neil. That's a good ball. Uh, is it almost? Oh, it is a good ball. It just didn't work. Oh, okay. Antwi. Easy. Their fullbacks want to run themselves off the ball. That actually opens it up for us. Hamzad Kargbo. Wasn't half bad. Neil thought he was going to shoot it. He's definitely shooting that. Is this guy actually the player from Rangers? Because that would be very annoying that you guys were talking about. Yes. This is Josh Windus. Or that Josh Windus you're talking about. The guy that's freaking scored against me here. That's great. Ryan McCoody in. And, um... See you on again. Triple sub on 60. Delano McCoy splat. Oh, good pass. Hamzad Kargbo! Can't say we haven't had the looks. Run with him, run with him. That's brilliant, Burley. That is really good.
Good tackle. Are you winning? Not today. We did win our, our last match, though, so that was a good breather for us. Get promoted? Yeah, we are in the fifth division. Nice, Paris. Time to go for it. Down one, close down. Yeah, there we go. Oh, nice header. Make the pass. No, don't. Oh, e you know, Harrison Neal's that guy. He's going to score one of those this year and use it to justify the 85 that he missed. Justify the 85 shots he missed. Wide. Easy. Oh, nice God. Come on. Just uh, stream a little bit, huh? Daria Henry, he's got card bow back post. Football manager's like, absolutely not. Okay. Sometimes you just have to accept it, right? They were better than us, and they played like it. We didn't get completely blown away. We were in that game. We had a few chances. We couldn't take them, right? And they were uh, they were just better than us. But, you know, we've, we've played Halifax, we've played Bromley, and we've played South Shields, and those are our three losses right now. Uh, and out of all three, I think South Shields, that match right there was the one I'm most disappointed in, and it wasn't uh, – it wasn't a loss that was honestly uh, particularly bad in terms of our performance. They were just a little better than us the whole day. Which is going to happen from time to time, playing a, a bunch of professional teams week in and week out. But once we start getting a run of teams not in the top seven of the league, I feel like we're going to be able to put together something really fun this season. And I do expect to be able to push for that top seven. It's just... Uh, put ourselves in a difficult position early because we've got um oh goal of the month campton sturridge for second that cheeky little chip i would assume uh we're still getting our team together right we've got a couple of strikers we're looking at a couple of midfielders we're looking at maybe look to add one of each before we uh before we think we're done here yeah he's fun isn't he Kwame Thomas. Balance sucks. The size, strength, work rate, speed is there for Kwame. The other guy is Will Truman, the midfielder, who's nah. Nah, work rate stamina is a little low for me to be head over heels about him being perfect for my team. Matthew Watson. Okay, it's 16. The finishing's terrible, though. He's a competitor. Camden Sturridge is not alone. He's actually just on the team. Any tips managing a bad... <laughs> 
a bad team in the top five leagues. Any tips managing a bad team in hmm, the top five leagues? <clears throat> no. You gotta have loans. You gotta have loans. You gotta have loans. Loans. I call that one loans in G major. The squad dynamics are fine. It's what you, it's what you love to say. Give me match practice. Possession's fine, and then we'll do a little attacking patient. Yeah, overall outfield, overall uh, aerial defense. Thanks. I want to keep uh, Kwame on loan here. Graham, thank you so much for the prime. You're muted, my man. Um, no, I'm not. You scared me. The songbird of our generation. <sighs> Is he in pain? I am. Because he's not using loans. That's why I'm in pain. Turkey United's Olaf Kashela. Uh, his contract doesn't even run out at the end of this year. He's not that great. Samuel Okoko. If I ever need a wing, I'll call. Central midfielder Louis Bradbury. Man, if you could move, I would call. And Tommy Willard, Mr. I can play everywhere, but I'm not good at it. Good talk. Hey, Kev. Kev the Bear, thank you for the three months. Appreciate you being a part of the Don't hammers, my that. dude. As of one minute ago, I lost uh, La Copa Sudamericana final with my local team. Oh. That's part of the game. It's part of the game in real life. Part of football manager. You go again. Makes it all the sweeter when you're actually able to clear that hurdle. When you're able to clear that hurdle. And you bring that trophy home. And you know that you earned it. Fair and square. Nice and clean. Nice and easy over the hurdle. Not easy, but enough. Premier League in a couple of years. As I said we're getting promoted every year. And I think from what I've seen from our team in the first four games, we can get into those playoff spots, that top seven. And once you get onto the dance floor, you can be the bell of the ball. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 30 old. I'm old. How about you? I'm feeling 23. Everything's going to be all right. Wait, is that not what you're... Oh. Ellis! Dang it! Another one of those great former Premier League ballers is uh, signing a deal. Tragically. Pretty new to the game. Can you turn any of your players into a team leader? Would you need to bring someone in? You can, but not immediately. It happens over time. Longevity, playing time. Uh, you know, think about things that would make somebody a team leader in real life. It doesn't happen instantly. It happens over time. And uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, Ellis Sims is gone. Uh, unfortunately, you can't 
make it happen quickly. Now, if you go sign an old guy that's played in your league for a while, you can instantly create a uh, you can instantly create a team leader. So if you're desperate for leadership, you feel like your team is inconsistent and not emotionally anchored very well, then I would recommend going and grabbing an old guy from the league, preferably free, right? You don't want to be spending all your transfer money just to satisfy your hierarchy on a gut feeling that your team needs some leadership. Viva la Latvia. Greetings from the beautiful Latvia Jazzy in Ashaka. Alexi! TTS did not, did not act kindly there. Jack Powell, very... Am I crazy or is this guy amazing? I'm not just like Rusty, right? Like this guy is fantastic. Scuba Steve, thank you for the 18 months. I think he's an actually amazing player. But Jack Powell has just randomly been dropped in my lap. Like this guy is just a dream for me. Yeah, dude, no problem. Sign the deal right now. I'll pay you anything under 40. No, Deshaun Bernard. Another one bites the dust. Dang it. Not Deshaun Bernard. How's he 30? Yeah, that picture's a little old. Little old. They can use pictures from like 10 years ago, chat. You got to be prepared for that they they do that all the time Deshaun Bernard has signed a deal another one of our deep dark Premier League desires has been swiped away from us dang it but this midfielder oh if we get this midfielder and then he would actually be under contract with us right now we're starting a guy that's loaned in So that's what I mean. We're still putting this team together, and the longer we stay in this division and the better we play, the better we're going to look. Uh, the one guy we want to bring back is Kwame, and we're going to just keep him around until we're done scouting the other striker. The other striker, Frankie Ealing. Okay. Isaac Buckley Ricketts. I actually agree with my staff on this. He sucks eggs. And we'll go ahead and, uh, oh, you know, Vigors, I feel like I had a lot of opportunities to sign, and I just never did. <laughs> Reeves redeemed sell this player. Now we're just getting him. Trappy Gilmore, thank you for the 15 months. Kwame, welcome back. Chris Smith. Okay, see you later. How's the stream going? What you, uh, on is pretty well. Wait, is Burley gone? Burley's playing tiddlywinks in the Caribbean, losing to Curacao 3 0. I'm missing a center back. Good get. 30 year old Jack Powell. <sighs> oh, snap. Jack, I agree. We are signing him. Everybody, welcome. Everybody, welcome, Jack Powell. All right, this guy is grade A. At the level we're at right now. He is grade A. Grade A. Can he learn attacking midfield? Maybe, uh, maybe, maybe not. But he can defend. He can offense. He's going to be the best technical player on our team. And he's not unathletic and he's very technical and he's very smart. So I, I think that Jack Powell's going to fit right into the starting three, the starting trio in our midfield. I think that's a huge get. Kezia Martin, finally somebody signs him. If that guy's 30, then I'm 300. Best way I've heard that worded so far. Miguel Ingua, again, with the absolute lemons in training. You've got to bring it, man. All right, at least our training has turned around a little bit. We still have, like, Hamzad's down here. K 
Kinsella's down here. He's always down here. Um, what, is he back yet, or is he still... Is he still suspended for his straight red card in the second minute? Well, Muzuamba. Muzuamba or Grian? We have to decide which center back we want to bring in. Maybe we, we both expect a draw. Okay. You very well might expect a draw, but you also very well might not get that. Uh, you, you're you on squad player, Ty. That's good because you're not going to play that much now that Jack Powell is here. Dylan Kaji off. Jack Powell steps it back, but he becomes the advanced playmaker on attack and the guy that generally pulls all of the strings. Um, Yeah. All right. Uh, Kinsella's still suspended. Ah, it's freaking awful. Kamari Paris, you're going in for a Siguan. Uh, We have a Duca. If we need a left-sided midfielder sub, we have a Duca. So leave me alone. And then Ingwa is the explosive extra sub if we happen to need to make it. And then Muzuamba's got that match experience over Green right now. So we're going to give him the chance to play. That's stupid Zealand. Do a comparison. This is actually really deceiving. I think this is pretty close. I think it's very narrowly Sean Green. Like, very narrowly. <laughs> if you're looking at a no-nonsense center back, Green has a whole bunch of stuff you don't need, right? But it is Green. Especially because this is our most offensive side, and this is our most offensive center back, and so it is Green over Muzuamba. What an half star, dude. We roll with one and a half star players all the time we ride with one we ride with whatever star number my board or my uh coaching staff uh wants to give you no i meant like when i say most offensive side i mean like this is where we like to have our kind of ball playing center back What do they do for the opposition? The oppo. They're marking Andrew Dallas. Nineteen months Chase of Spencer, no. learning from the master. Let's we'll see how masterful we can be today. We've got our new signing, Jack Powell. We throw him a nice number, and here we go. This is at home against Solihill Moors. Now we keep playing these good teams. I really want to find out what we can do against mid table and below. But this is our fourth game in our first five matches against a top seven team in the league. So let's go, baby. If we can win it, I think we set ourselves on the way. You know, like we're setting ourselves up in a good spot because we've lost to Halifax, Bromley, and South Shield so far. We're just going to need to get good results against teams that I think we actually have more talent than. Jack Powell's been around the team for like 48 hours. Let's see how he's able to bring that to bear. That lone guy hadn't been good anyways. So Jack Powell's appearance was in the nick of time. Kaiji probably just needed a little time, but like when you're when you're loaned into a team, how much time do you really have to acclimate and make a difference? Kamari. Antwi? Surely. Bloodwake, thank you for the 19 months. What's the board want you to do this season? Fight bravely against relegation is every part of it right now. But I want top seven. I think we can reach top seven. 
They have all the ball, but they only have one shot. We're doing exactly what we came here to do. Beautiful. Beautiful half. Beautiful half. One shot? That's what I'm talking about. Shut them down. Now we just need to take our moment. When we get that moment, we need to take it. We need Powell to make the pass. Campton Sturridge to just fly in there. There you go, Cardbell. Neal. Oh, dear God. I thought he was about to come flying in with a challenge and a yellow. That's good. Harrison Neal knows his limits. Very good work. Green, yes. Way to work. Way to work. Yeah, it's the beautiful game. We're out resourced. This is the way we need to play, and we are playing it. Oh, offside. Yeah. Okay. That was a freaky good play from that guy. And we just pop up with a chance here, and we just grab this with both hands, and we steal it. Need some energy, though. They've got three shots in 13 minutes here. Take a look at our ratings, see if there's anybody. So we're not getting a lot of highlights. Is there anybody that's not having a particularly good day? <sighs> Paris, but I don't really feel like shifting my whole formation to accommodate that. Um, let's take Neil out for Ty. I'm going to do this. Neil out for Ty. Uh, Powell's nervous, deserved his yellow. Delano for Powell. Tough spot to be in. 48 hours on the team, and I throw him out on the field. Wasn't able to make a difference. Wasn't terrible. I mean, the rating was fine. Oh, Green. Yikes. Airmailed that. Oh, Paris. That was stupid. Oh, Cargbo's on that. Yes. The card daddy. That was poor. <sighs> the nerves are jangling. shift it around a couple times not really changing their formation just changing where players were oh Yudoka. great work just cover the middle just cover them and oh my That's cruel. We were we were on tap for our first uh on tap for our first great result. Yeah, Muzuamba's laughing on the bench. Green gets caught lunging in, catches an ankle there in the box, gives away the pen that helps them break through. Oh, I thought we played a really solid game. We hadn't controlled the game much, but... It's good defense.
Okay. That's good. Way to get it restarted quickly. That's a very good ball from McCoy. Splat! Oh, he did deserve that. Oh, he did. Delano McCoy splat, and it's Hamzad Kargbo again. I'm, I'm leaving the attacking stuff on, by the way. We're just going to go for it. Keep Bennett out wide. Oh, he is on side, and that is just a great ball into an area. Come on! The Karg Daddy from Delano McCoy Splat. It's really... Yeah, I think we're fine. Is he off? Yeah. Kelly. Hey, he wouldn't have been allowed anyways. He's screening the goalkeeper ref. <sighs> Not a bad draw. Really wish we hadn't given away that penalty because, man, we find, we found our chance and we took it. We just made a mental error again uh, and, and gave away another penalty there or else we would that, that would have been the dream game, right? You keep them away from any obvious chance. You create an obvious chance for yourself. You take it. Ah. It'll turn. Just got to start playing the teams that we're supposed to be able to beat. God, it's, just not, it's a weird feeling. Like, I'm not disappointed in the way that we're playing really at all. It's finally, we're going to start to get to these two matches a week thing. I hate this one match a week. Holy smokes. Yay, we're playing a bad team, finally! Yeah, and we didn't have Burley for that game, which I guess is just going to happen randomly because this is the international window. So he goes in the international window for St. Kitts and Nevis, which is why having a couple of good backup center backs is important. Devontae are in Sebia at Welling United, and his contract does run out at the end of the season. But even at the end of his contract, I'm honestly not infatuated with the idea of signing him. How does he... He's 6'2 with 10 jumping reach. How does that make any sense? But the fact that he's a wing with that kind of strength and decent jumping reach, I feel like could be a real problem if you start doing that I back post crossing stuff. I told her that I'll pick up pizza and coke on the way back from work, but it seems she was not still regrets letting me name the kids. <laughs> so no, unfortunately for you, it got absolutely ruined by the TTS there, but it's, I called my wife and told her that I'll pick up pizza and coke on the way back from work. It seems she wasn't happy, though. She still regrets letting me name the kids. Yikes. It's almost as crazy as naming your kids Zealand, am I right? What are you... Crazy, dude. Do you have five jumping reach? You're playing center back with a serious look on your face. Are you kidding? Oh, yeah, Pharrell. Forgot. Pharrell was available for free for a long time. Just didn't want him. Claude Kaibanda. No. Alfie Prescott already on our list. Billy Eastwood. Seven one on ones. No. Ethan Hartness. Oh, you move. Oh. 
See, these guys that are interested in us are actually just very bad. Because they think our team is very bad, and alas, we are not. We are not very bad. So we keep telling ourselves. I am gonna make a. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna make a video about the Reina situation. So I would just. I'm not gonna talk about it too much now, but it's hilariously dumb. Can you be hilariously dumb? They're doing their best. Wow, 18 months. That's twins. Nine more months and we'll have triplets. If he was if he That's if he didn't want money, I was right. gonna sign him, but no. Hey boxing bat, thank you for the 18 months! You see this is on rumors about the US national team? Yeah, that was <laughs> I mean, Bappe chimed in and was like, what are you doing? Zidane's France. And I'm like, dude, it was worth asking, you know. It's not like he's doing anything right now. Figured we'd give him a call, right? I obviously would have liked Zidane managing the U.S. national team. That would have been sick. But I think we're more we're we're more going for like a tier two manager. Zidane is a tier one manager. He's only going to take specific jobs. I feel like he might have just been holding out for the French job. Like honestly, they do. Oh, wow. Bad wall of training. Okay. Come on, Kinsella. You got it, man. You're going to be great. Just need to hammer this as much as we can. Let's see. So, Knee was upset about it. Muzuamba was upset about it. Will Dowling upset about it? Kyle Bailey upset about it. A lot of... Uh, really? Burley. He's going to be upset about it, yeah. There we go. Nick McCudi. There we go. We turn it around. Luckily, Martinez already taken. Yeah, dude, I don't... I wouldn't... I would have been so mad if we signed Roberto Martinez. Well, that Portuguese team is in an interesting position, though, because you're in, like, a post-Ronaldo world. The issue and what might be annoying if you are coaching the Portuguese team is that I don't know if Ronaldo knows that you're in a post-Ronaldo world, right? Like, I I don't know if Ronaldo is aware of the fact that you are now in a post-Ronaldo world. And so you're going to kind of have to ease him into that. ease him into understanding that he's not if he wants to be on the team he's going to be a super sub and like tell him that get him to nod along a little bit Definitely want to throw that guy in there. Okay. Renato's in denial. I mean, wouldn't you be? If I was that cool and that good for that long, I'd be in so much denial. I don't blame him at all for any of this stuff. Like, it makes complete sense. It is a very bitter pill to swallow to go from being one of the best strikers in the history of the sport. Arguably the best. Like, pure forward in the history of the sport to... Now you're just, like, a pretty good, you know, because you're 38, 37. Uh, you're a pretty good forward for a world-class team, and he's like, screw you, I'm going to Asia. What?
Yeah, it's it's the it, 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 exactly. You hit the nail on the head. It's the part of his personality that made him great in the first place. Is that same like Muhammad Ali always used to say it, uh, or, or he talked about it later. He's like, I said I was the best before I knew I was, and that really that like that gives you a window into how these people's brains are working, right? Like, I said I was the best before I knew I was. Like their whole thing for people that work that way is you say you're the best and you act like you're the best and you do the things like you're the best even when you're not sure you are or even when it's not obvious that you are yeah his time is over it's easy for us to see that me sitting here eating peanut butter off my stomach like an otter going he's done he's terrible like no, I mean, unfortunately, because, you know, when people are built like that, I don't think Messi's built like that necessarily, but Ronaldo definitely is, right? And so when you're built like that, you're like the last one in the room to get in on the fact that you're, yeah, it's, uh, it's tough, but you're not that guy anymore and you're not ever going to be that guy again. Glancing header, all we're, all I'm asking for one glancing header Sturridge, please. Cover, 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 cover. Up the Z box. We can play with get stuck in all of last season and not do any of this stupid. Two years it gets stuck in. And we were fine. Beginning of this year, it's like a waking nightmare. Just handing out free goals like Tic Tacs. That's ours. Easy. All right. Thank you, Ansui. Yes. Singa Ngoi. Yes. Oduka. Yes. Campton Sturridge. Oh, yeah. Campton Sturridge. Thank you. I'll take my goals to go, please. We'll take another one, and then we'll get back on the road. Thank you very much. That's what we need. That's what we need. We need Campton Sturridge to be a 30 40 goal a year type of guy pressure on the back line pressure on the back line when we have the ball scoring goals like that with his athleticism and his natural finishing ability that's what we need dump the ball forward and chase we do that it works it's 1-1 one, one. okay now we're we're closing down instead of getting stuck in we will see how that plays for the rest of this match cargbo does enough campton sturridge electric turn he's got cargbo he's got car daddy oh i wrong side of the post i thought that was the right side of the post We do a really good job of giving up a lot of shots that are super low XG. I love that about us. I'm happy. We're tied. And I, you know, the last 15 minutes were great. And really, I'm just saying where I'm happy because the team needs to pick me up.
Everything's fine in the game, guys. Every everything is okay. <laughs> My favorite part is that he goes back. I didn't even know he was gonna go back. And he, just, he commits the foul and then just nobody saw anything. Nice header. Jeez. Oh, Oduka, play it with your feet, man. Thank you, Harrison. We're there. Harrison Neal, well controlled. Harrison Mail has got his targets up there. Target acquired. Ham Daddy, the Hamzad. Good pressure. Our ball. Oh, Daria Henry. That wasn't the right guy. Okay, this is our moment. That's a good ball right to Hamzad's side. Oh, dude, we had such a good... I, I, We had, I mean, uh, our goal kick play right here. We are in such a good spot, and it just hits Powell's heel. Good work from Kinsella. It's actually really good shape. Oh, they didn't uh, they didn't have the patience to work the ball around. Oh no. I thought he was gonna pass that back. If he takes that and shoots it, then we can live with that. But if he passed that back to where the gap was, we were in a lot of trouble. anchor a back four and get a little more forward pressure with our midfield I think we're a little too deep right now and we're starting with legs getting a little heavier to struggle from that deeper position to get out and close down passing opportunities they might have We're getting fancy. My, the wheels are turning. We're just... After that last switch, we weren't able to cover the wide areas well enough, so now I feel like we need to throw in a mid-block, get a little wider, get further up the field. There should theoretically be a win out there for us, but the second half has literally been a field day of low XG opportunities for them, which you just can't give those away in the volume that we are giving them away right now. So we're going to go into the kind of the Dorfer's tactic for a second because that's the personnel we have available. That was not good. 
Thank you, Mail. If we score, we would be stealing this game. We would absolutely be stealing it, Oduka. There you go, Neil. Turn. Yes. Campton Sturridge. Yes. Took it too wide. His touches towards the goal are just not very good. Oh, that's... Sealand, they're not very good. You can never expect them to be able to do stuff like that a lot. Why? Why does he slow down? Why does he stop? And then he comes back and blocks it. Okay, good, good, good. Thank you. Oduka, the key play. Mayall, good. He shouldn't be taking that one. Why is he taking that one? Kinsella's still on the field. Are you actually telling me that was classified as... Dude, I do not understand the set pieces at all, and anybody that tells you they do is lying. There is no way they classify this as a direct small chance of shot. This is classified in the game as a direct free kick with a small chance of a shot. That is the only explanation for him taking it because left side, Jack Powell, right side, behind my head. Sorry, let me sort that. Lewis Kinsella. Erickson, thank you. Thank you for that. And it's not too early. It's our first stream of the new year. They're too late. Thank you for the year. Very fitting. Happy New Year. You sub for a year. Beautiful. Lime, thank you. Do taller players mean they will reach their jumping reach quicker? No. In our previous test, jumping reach is jumping reach, and that's it. I did have that theory for a little while, Lime, but I disproved it when I had a match between the shortest possible players and the tallest possible players with the same jumping reach. No discernible difference. Uh, B Bagriel, thank you for the six months. But honestly, in FM23, I believe it might be the case. Again, I haven't tested it yet, though. So I would go with our previous knowledge because they don't change too many things. So Jack Powell, not supposed to be taking this, right? But he is. Because that is somehow classified as... That's the best foul I've ever seen. I don't know why it took him so long. I am super, super satisfied with that foul. Because uh, we got caught clean, which I have never seen happen in this game uh, on FM23 anyways. We got caught clean on a counter there. Then our set piece defense. Let's see. We have one, two, three guys guarding one guy. And then, yeah, okay, cool. So instead of man to man across the board, we have three guys guarding one guy up here. And then, yeah. So that is uh, life these days, you know. No, the match engine, honestly, in this stream has been better. Just uh, just the set piece stuff. But that set piece stuff's been there for years. Not going to have huge effects on games. But when it does, it feels really annoying because you feel like you don't have any control over it. I really wish we hadn't given away that penalty because they really wanted to not score a goal today. They desperately wanted to not score a goal today. I will keep subbing as long as Zealand's hair keeps receding. You better be ready for the next 70 years. Thank you, Rambling, for the, the tier three for 31 months. And Jari B, thank you for the two months of the prime. Uh, I'd, say I'd probably say that was our worst game. 
We may be in for a little tactic switch here. Maybe in for a little tactic switch. I feel like that might have been our worst game. Because that's a team we definitely should have been able to beat. We gave, like, just so many shots. I don't know if that was just the way that they were set out to play, but we just gave away so many shots. None were particularly great, but that, I mean, there were a couple of headers in front of the goal where I was like, e, you know. Fluffy, thank you for the prime. The good news is we're going to have, pr uh, we're going to have plenty of leeway to figure it out because we're just like. All right, we're going to go to that. Um, and where's Ty? Ty Bennett. And then you're there. And you're there. We can switch this depending on where we feel threatened in the midfield. Happy seven months, up the z -cocks. Dude, what, what if? No, that's not going to work, is it? Goalkeeper literally named Mail. Yeah, he is. Sorry, I'm just doing really heavy thinking right now. Doing some really heavy thinking. We could always shift it wide and bring in Miguel was just a break glass in case of emergency. Pace merchant. Burley's the defensive cover.
I'll work on the tactic a little bit. I'm gonna have knee. Pace merchant bench appearance. Oh. I think Harry Willard, thank you so much for the prime. I mean, I, the issue is we're not going to be able to train it a ton anyways. So I might just want to go back to what we had before with the three strikers. But we're going to need to sign another striker or two. If you want any advice, I'm only really useful after season seven. <laughs> That'll be, we'll, we'll be fine. We had a really tough start to the season. So we're gonna, gonna bounce back from that. Oh, stupid. Should have, I shouldn't have gone to the back seven plus attacking midfielder i'd never tried that before and i think that midfielder just gets lost had been getting lost these first couple of their matches the first couple matches why is training unavailable so many times yes because we're semi-pro and that's the reason we don't have um tactical familiarity either cool nothing nothing crazy in there but keep working hard to improve daria henry's averaging a 6.47 right now we don't really have an obvious switch for that either um hmm Let's see if there's a a forward in here although there are a couple of forwards that we're looking at right now that might allow us to go back to that three forward kind of formation connor lawless amari patrick he is a free agent like my two week reminder to try wingers more if uh if that ends up not working uh, or our setup ends up not working man we're starting to get tossed a few good players leo doesn't want anything yep get in ryan batram uh I appreciate a good athlete as much as anybody else. No. Is this... Um... Don't trust people with two first names. Is this too complicated for this division? I don't think so. It's a very, very slight adjustment from the way from this, which is one of my favorite lower league tactics. Anchor in the middle, pressure out wide, two pressure up the middle, that is one of my favorite. That's what we used in our first season. Got us to the playoff with a team that was expected to finish 23rd. I love it. I want to go away from five at the back. Or I want to go away from three center backs. I, I've found that that has consistently not allowed us to get guys in the right spots. Last year it worked. We were just doing the seven and three the entire time. But... I don't think it's set to work here at this level. Dylan Kaji, Powell's able to play again, which is good. McCoy Splat's going to come in for Ansui. And that's that. Singing Goyi out for Burley, who we trust to be able to do that. And Lewis Kinsella's a little tired. 
So we'll go get Kamari Paris because fresh legs are more important than quality 10 times out of 10. Where's Grian? We'll go Grian and uh, Grian and Burley. Can't have our defense running out of steam here. Daria Henry can play a ton of matches in a row, so we'll just let him do that. Um, Kaji, Ansui, are there any other? We we don't have, we could go like Massey, but I do also really want to win this game. I do definitely want to win this game. Okay. Mari Paris set to take the armband. I feel like that makes a ton of sense, yeah. Let's get a win. Let's get a win. Let's get a win. Go out there and enjoy yourselves tonight. Two consecutive draws. Let's go win. We've, we've battled our way to two consecutive draws, but we need wins. Wins and losses. I don't like living in draw land. They're going 4-4-2, which is good. We should be able to catch there, too. If we can play it off of Nick Makuti, who's starting instead of Hamsad today, then we're in a good spot because Hamsad's injured. He just needs to sit this game out. We're starting to get into the attritional part of the season, which I honestly think might help us because we do tend to build deeper teams at this level than most people do. Okay, never mind. Foul. <laughs> I was about to praise Grian for going for that. I did take off Get Stuck In, yeah. I mean, we're on a different tactical set. Which actually means I need to look at my set pieces again. But Paris, uh, nobody was there. But thank you, Burley. Burley again. Well handled. Daria Henry playing off Makuti. Dang it. Harrison Mail, one for the cameras. I'm going to do that now. Actually, he's pretty well set up. Our defense is good. Okay. We're all right. That's a ball. That's a ball and a half. No way. from Campton Sturridge. What a scintillating, sumptuous, impudent little finish. From Campton Sturridge, he had the tightest of windows and he fit it through like the mailman. What a goal. And that will bring the feel good back to Taunton Town. Hot diggity dog. What a finish. That's what we need from Campton Sturridge. He needs to be a star. Oh, that's that stinks. I'll keep the encourage going. That stinks. Dude just rips it from outside the box and ramp it home out of the crowd. That hurts. All right, come on now. Let's not let such a fabulous goal go to waste, huh? Let's take advantage of Compton Sturridge's brilliance. I literally didn't see uh, Bargain Brand Rashford there. Nice save. This is a bit disheveled from us. Green wins the header. Nobody's home. Ratchford comes across. We three guys let that ball go through. Oh, Harrison. It's the highest paid player on our team. He better be making that save. Delano. 
Come on, guys. I mean, uh, there's two things going on in my mind. One, unbelievable save by Harrison Mayle, right? Like, this is just absolutely ridiculous save by Harrison Mayle to keep that ball out. The other part of it is if we are deploying the entire first division of Taunton, three guys occupied with this right here, Barnett, McCoy, Spl this is the wing that we cannot lose on. And we still give up an inch perfect cross like that. That cannot happen. I'm back, lads. It cannot happen. Everybody dig in. Let's go. And we're just going to hammer the encourage. And we're going to come out positive. Yo, what a save. That is that is an insane save. Give me that. All Paris, easy, Compton Sturridge. Oh yes. Nick! Oh, could he couldn't normally he keeps them in the back pocket better than that. He could not there. Oh, yes, Daria Henry. Oh, Powell. That's what we... We have midfielders that can play in those tight spaces now. It's perfect. Paris. Green. Goal. Oh, that was a good ball. That was very good defense. We literally have a standard back line. How do I get caught by the... I, I get caught by these plays a lot. Little switch. Paris. Makuni! to Nick McCooney, two OGs in their third year in the team, hooking up in the National League for the goal. Boom. St. Nick. Off a sparkling ball. Oh, this would be nice, Green. Powell can play a really good ball. Green! Yes! 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 <laughs> Still got it. Still got it. Still got that winning mentality. And we have a freaking awesome goalkeeper, too. Daria Henry. Well. Nail. Uh, Modchek. Harrison. Goodness me. What is happening? Thank you, Delano. Oh, that's mine all day. Why are we constantly stepping forward? That worked because we got him offside, but what if you know this is the point of drop off more? Our first step is always forward. It's insane. We have the pace. We've got, oh yes, Powell. Uh, we've got the pace to make that interesting. Just thought that was going to Powell again. Daria Henry, was that a shot? I want you to, I want you to look me in the eyes and be honest with me. Was that, was that a shot? It's okay if it is. I just want to know.
It kind of looked like a shot. Just, and here goes Rudiger. Come on. Great second half. Great second half. Way to compete. Center back switch. And then we hit, we took the time to go back and change our set pieces to get that insurance goal from Green. Yes. Huge for the morale to be able to stick a win like that with a rotated team. Just blast it. One more freaking win. We're in the top seven, right? Dude, we're three points off the top seven right now. We just need to get some wins on the board. Unbeaten in three. Right? Who designed you just a little doom and gloom pandemic. early because, you know, we had a couple of tough opponents. Just a little bit of doom and gloom. No matter, right? Absolutely no matter. Looking fine. Looking fine. I didn't hate the way that tactic played. We just melted on, like, two occasions. Like, we had that... So what are we looking at? What are the, the numbers, right? We had the numbers there to deny the cross. We had a, plenty of guys in the box to deal with the cross that created their second obvious goal-scoring opportunity. Their first goal-scoring opportunity, I'll be totally honest with you, I don't remember it. But the second one, I do remember, and I wasn't upset with the way that we handled it. The first one was their goal. Do we give away a penalty again? Oh, no, it was the scramble after a set piece. Yeah, okay, we didn't have anything to do with that. All right, like tactically speaking. That was just, we fell asleep and he hit it from outside the box and it went in. He is quite startlingly fast for this level. All right, into contract, Bradley Foster, who is unhappy at Braintree and might might be interested in a move, perhaps. <sighs> the, the mere presence of St. Nick McCoody won us the game. It is, he just, he's a winner, man. He gets on the field and then all of a sudden we look good. He scores the goal to unstick things for us. Green's in the action. DJ Compton, huge that he's kind of turning it around, you know? <sighs> Just another Hamzad, dude. It's a Hamzad. Well, he doesn't have the jumping reach. He has the physical size and strength, but he doesn't have the jumping reach of a Hamzad. Let's keep scouting him. Another week on Josh Andrews. I'm not entirely sold yet that he's who we should go after. Who's it? Where's the other um, guy? Not Aaron Sebia. He's not on the list? I have the room! He's not gonna get a work permit anyways. Never mind. I'm not gonna tie up my finances waiting on work permit stuff, but I will keep him on my short list. Should that change? Never mind. Sorry. Um Okay, we are going up here, and we are looking at pace forwards who are Lewis Darlington. Yeah, we uh, we were scouting Lewis Darlington. Why are we not still scouting Lewis Darlington? Thank you. Okay. There's some mail. Wary. Okay, and training individual we have... Our collection of ne'er-do-wells. We're going to leave them be for a week. We're gonna leave them be for a week because I feel like I've I've run my course on like all of those guys. 
FC failed. This is our win. Now that now that we're now that we're cooking up something special with Taunton, this is ours. Yeah, that guy that guy blew my mind for a second. I was so excited, and then it's a shame I can't read. So Burley goes wide, singing Goy steps in. Burley is running as a fullback on support. And wait, is he a better wingback? No. Just running fullback on support. We've got Barnett, who's running the wing side. Kaji's running from there. Neil's opened up in the middle. Makuti, well, first we've got to go Cargbo in there. And then Makuti's the super sub again with Hamdaddy. Uh, and Grian is the only guy that's not super rocking and rolling. I'm going to drop Ingwa. He's kind of the extra sub there. Go Oduka for Grian, who steps in with Daria Henry as our flash sub. And then McCoy Splat, Powell, Makuti. Yep, okay. All right. We played a 4-4-2 last time. Hall Johnson is an overlapping fullback. I got no problem with that close down. Let's ride. Away to FC Fouled. Another win today. Surprised you didn't look at Quarku at the start of the save. I honestly don't know who that is. Oh, yeah, it's the first time. Uh, first time I've seen him. I feel like we have a chance to get our team on like an actually good roll. They have they don't have a win in four and they're still like sixth of the league or whatever. That's kind of crazy. We are unbeaten in three. We have points in four of our last five with a couple of wins. That is decent form. And another win just throws us up the table here. And I believe this is a team that's good enough to get top seven. We didn't want to lose touch with the group and we big win over Maidstone, who I said they signed one of those strikers that I wanted. And I told them when we finish above them in the league, I'll be laughing at them. I'll slide into their DMs. I'll let them know. I'll let them hear it. Lucas, thank you for the three months. <laughs> Please don't curse us with that saying. Oh, you meant Jonathan Quark, who the sprinter guy that we found. Well, I guess we didn't find. He always existed, but... Uh... I don't think he's in my database, honestly. We have a not a huge database so that we can move through seasons quickly. That almost went in Kaji, yes! Dylan Kaji! Yes! Come on! Good save by Hadler. Stays in Dylan Kaji with a beautiful scrambled header. Why is Makuts not starting? Because he doesn't offer us enough in a two-striker setup, unfortunately, to play regularly full 90 minutes all the time. He's a great super sub, but Cargbo offers us more like that, for example. Oh, great ball by Kaji. Compton Sturridge. What? Your first touch is good, okay? Your first touch is like 11. I thought it was 13. Whatever. Your dribbling is higher, though. It's 13, and that's what's affecting what you just did. Take a good touch, man, towards the goal. Not wide, where you can't do anything. This is so dangerous with Cargbo in there. Hey!
Just start dancing. The vibes are here. I told you the vibes were on the way. It took us a little bit to figure it out, but the vibes are here. Just dance with them. Feel the vibes. Three games without Luis Kinsella was an unfortunate twist. He is clearly a difference maker for this team, and that was a lovely corner. Powell's not in there. He's back on the set piece of singing Goyi. Ooh, spooky. Spooky. Great recovery run. Who was that? Love the heart there. Was that Antwi? It's always Antwi, isn't it? Yeah. It's always Antwi. Give me that. Play him. It's all right. That's good. That's good play. We keep putting ourselves in that position. We'll be we'll be looking good. Antwi. It's a good passer. Better passer than anybody gives him credit for. Neil Cargbo. Is he on? Oh, he might be. He is. Come on. Neil to Karg Daddy to Compton Sturridge. Guys, Compton Sturridge, brilliant. DJ Compton Sturridge. Yes. Welcome to the National League. May I take your coat or your three points? Should have taken that ball. We were holding his hand down the side there. Nice block anyways. Oh, there's the, the, honestly, if we can win a first header, our numbers on those plays are incredible. They're like four guys on one side of the field, impossible for them to defend it. Oh, come on, Barnett, run. It's the only, th only change in the tactic I haven't really noticed do anything. Neil, draw the defender and cross. Let's go, oh baby. We're doing standing desk for this one. We're going up. I'm not staying seated for a 4-0, 23-minute explosion after we were in the relegation area for, you know, two matches. Oh, man. Zealand teams don't stay down there, chat. We don't stay down there. We are taunting town. We play with pride. We play Brexit ball, you know? We don't mess about. The ball's up the field, and we just blast it in the back of the net. No, 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 no. Wow, that went through two defenders and wide of the post. Ah, oh, beautiful. This is exactly what the doctor ordered to really get us off and running. I, I just going to give them an ecstatic team talk and send them back out there. Oh. Man said he did it off 0.22 XG. Well, let me tell you, we have 1.07 XG. Thank you very much. <coughs> oh, nice play, Kinsella. That was cheeky. Antwi, who just seems to be a part of every good play we make. That's just a great pass. Oh, and again, he's the only one that doesn't take stupid shots either. Like, that was just fantastic. Barnett, somebody please! Hobzon is, like, flying this year, also. Yeah, we're going all the way to the Prem. I said, how long will it be until you're in the Prem? Somebody asked me last year. I said, give it five years. Just got to get promoted every year. Barnett just keeping it alive. I mean, if that doesn't make our XG like three and a half, I don't know what will. The ham god. He's shooting. Foul. Oh, I get called for two penalties on that play. What do you mean? Freaking ridiculous, dude. Oh, Compton Sturridge. Nice. Compton Sturridge. K 
Captain Sturridge. Oh, what a run! Oh, what a goal! Yep, we're, we're here. Took us a few games, we're here. Took us a few games, we're here. Hesfeed with the five gifted. Oh, the hype is, it's off the charts. The vibes are off the charts. This will fix our, uh... oh, another seven. Give me seven. Oh, he was on. Oh, he was on. Oh, come on. You're gonna rob Card Daddy of his second hat trick? What is that call? I'd be furious if it wasn't six nothing already. This is Card Daddy. Card Daddy. What a freaking party this is. Won the World Cup final with against Argentina. If we didn't get removed by FIFA because we were too good. Fabian, you are one of a kind. Thank you for being a part of the Hammers. Love you. Uh, yeah, you're right, Sweden. Absolutely. Removed by FIFA for being too good. Or lost to Poland. But probably most likely removed by FIFA for being too good. Check, let me check, let me check, let me check. And we off Cogbo. Delano McCoy Splat. And Hum Karg Daddy's already in a 10.0. He's coming back from an injury, so we'll get him off. And Jack Powell in for Harrison Neal. Sorry, Karg Daddy. I know you want the hat trick, but <laughs> oh McCooty! This is what he does. Nick! The nose for goal, always present. What a day to not be a Fylde fan, yeah. FC Fylde, they're sixth in the league, by the way. We're, we're doing this to the sixth best team in the league. Uh, now I get, dude, McCoot, you just gotta learn how to flop, really. I want Campton Sturridge to take this, he's on a hat trick. It was McCooty. No, it wasn't, it was um, Oduka that got pushed. All right, let me let me take a look at penalty takers. Uh, they would they allow players to score two goals to take the penalty. We'll just leave that on and it'll work. So, uh, DJ Campton Sturridge for the hat trick. <laughs> Rumors of our demise were greatly exaggerated, chat. Greatly exaggerated. Scratch, thank you for the 15 months. Oh, that's all right. Oh, great defense. Thank you, Burley. Kaji. Nice save. Burley there again. And we're able to stick a clean sheet, which I believe might be our first of the season. If we can hold it. And it looks like we will, maybe. Oh, goodness. Kinsella, really? Full tilt all the time. Might actually be a highlight for us. This has gone on for a while. Barnett. Barnett. Okay, Barnett. Really? <laughs> really? 
Took away Karg Daddy's hat trick and then blow it dead there. What a match. What a match. What a match. Give me, give me all the tunes. I am gassed right now. Oh, oops. <laughs> On the wrong screen. Two goals, two assists. That's why we started Card Daddy. We're 10th! Aha! It's amazing what happens when we do. We start to work together as a team. You know, it's all about teamwork. Oh, frickin' that is awesome. New tactic seems to be functional, chat. Seems to be okay. season started a little slow but now it's cooking we just won seven nil away to a team that was in the top seven was they're not anymore just block out all that stuff our terrible coaching staff our terrible standard of coaching and like every discipline we block all that out and we just persevere we persevere Mikel Barnes Eh. Ooh, a little scouting report. Roman Charles Cook, I see you. Marcus Denanga. Physically great. Technically, he's got a lot of... Yeah, I mean, he's the type of guy that we would... We would appreciate. I think we should bring him in on trial until we decide which striker we want. I think he should be on our team. Frosty. Yeah, I think so. Th thanks for the year. The gold bacon is just dry aged. That's how it makes it to a year of, of bacon. Yeah. That's what happens. <sighs> I like this guy, too. How many midfielders can you reasonably sign? What level was this guy at? He was playing for Extra City the last, uh, last couple of years. That makes sense. That tracks... I'll tell you what, we're, we're going to be able to sign like two more guys and he might be one of them, but we can't make that decision yet until we assess the other strikers properly. So we're just going to bring him in on trial, him and uh, Marcus Denanga, because you never know who's going to get offers and who's not. But that's the idea right now. We need to finish scouting these other two strikers before he can make a decision. This song is called uh, Turn It Up to 11. The last one's called Keyboard Warrior. Absolute bangers, right? Leo Black, welcome to the team. Little non-contract grab to help out our midfield. <sighs> that was awesome. That was, oh, that result. Those last two results, oh. Non-contract, and the dude is literally a three-star natural Segundo Volante. That's disgusting for us. What a dreamboat. Can he play fullback? No, nah, I'm not going to make him. Don't want to lower his... Uh... That guy actually could be on our team for a couple of years. Especially if he gets a run in the team and makes it work. Uh, signing an 18-year-old, uh, is Black a player for the future more than the present day?
How many how many different ways can I say I think Leo Black is a good player? That's my question. Duncan, thank you so much for the two months of the Prime. Oh, I literally restarted the last one, my bad. Alright. Let me get up to walking here. FA Youth Cup second round. Oh, like when does that? I feel like we should be playing in some sort of FA Cup something. Maybe we get to skip an extra round. Is that? Is that how it works? Do we get to skip an extra round? Because we've been promoted, so we don't have to play another round. You enter in the. Okay, we do. Yeah. All right. So we only play one round of qualifying then before the uh, FA Cup main draw. Oh, you skip two rounds. Ooh, that's nice. So we do just, that That would make sense because it was three rounds, but now we play one round of qualifying to get into the FA Cup main draw. All right. Yeah, the competitions page, uh, FA Cup. We enter in the fourth round, and our minimum expectation is to get out of that fourth round and get into the next round. And, of course, the FA Trophy is going to be our huge competition. Cam Candola, who's the center back I've been obsessed with forever. But I'm just he's, he's always going to be just beyond my reach. Ryan Vigors, he wanted too much money, unfortunately. I remember we were trying to sign him, but I just didn't think he was star material for us. That's what I like to see. I want to see guys with a, you know, making a positive impact. Not just yelling at them angrily. Massey, Muamba. Confrontational. All righty. Furious. Did Ing was just like weird. He feels he's been treated unfairly. He's enraged because I've never had that. <laughs> Oh, Ingwa, your mercurial and likely short tenure at this club is going to be fun. Yay. That was good, though. All right. Freaking Ingwa. Hugo, thank you for the prime. Thank you for the six months. Congrats on your silver bacon, dude. Go get another coaching license. I think I'm already working on one, aren't I? Pretty sure I'm already studying a coaching license. I could have sworn I was. Did I already get it? Did it, like, already come in? Was that your... Yeah, it did, didn't it? Went up to National League A. Wait, does that mean I'm a better coach? Marginally. I still suck. But I'm better. So... Oh, you just finished. Dude, I sometimes I am blind. Oh, there we go. I've got my National A coaching license. Yeah! Thank you, chat. I don't know what I would do without you. Actually, I, I have no idea. I would just miss that. Z and blind is, uh, is real. Is very, very real. I, I am getting over a little something, so I'm going to call it there so I don't wax my voice because we're going to stream for like the next ever. So uh, we are going to call it here today, but absolutely fantastic return to the save. We've exploded to within two points of playoff position after teetering down towards relegation for a second. Let me save it up real quick. Great turnaround. Huge six points right there at the end. Way to battle to a couple of draws when we weren't at our best. And we'll be back tomorrow. I'm so happy to say it, but we will be back tomorrow. There will be another YouTube video likely out tomorrow because for the first time in six months, everything's not all up in the air. How about that? We're going to go raid somebody. And we're able to, in Zealand Corp, and Reese, and Isle, and Gadget, and Smug, and Tom and Elizak and all the people that bring all the, the great videos and streams together are, are, are finally able to just sit there and freaking cook. And we are going to cook. We're going to make the best YouTube videos we possibly can.
and do the best fun streams we possibly can. And that's what we have on tap. And I'm really excited for it. All right. All right. Who are we going to raid? You guys picked your copy pasta yet? Doesn't look like you picked your copy pasta. I'm a little worried about it. All right, I've picked our raid. Uh, it's somebody we've never raided before. Oh, they've got like little Pokemon stream avatar stuff. That's cool. Are we going with the tree? Are we going with the tree copy pasta? We could, I'm down. I'm always down for the tree. Always down. Zealand in jail, check Twitter. What did I do? Well, I'll figure that out later. Thank you guys. Uh, I appreciate it. It was a great day back. Great result. And uh, we will be back tomorrow. Uh, there'll be another live episode tomorrow. If you missed some of the transfer window, you'll be able to catch up on that. Um, he's not a VTuber. Is he? Well, I, I mean, it doesn't matter if he is. But he's not. He just has the little, like, Pokemon walking around at the bottom. If you're, like, in the chat, you get a Pokemon and you walk around at the bottom. But he's playing Football Manager. As I get your copy pasta already, dang it. What are you doing? I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to stay in the chat long enough to figure out what my... Because I don't have the audio on, I don't think I get a Pokemon walking around at the bottom. There's about to be a lot more Pokemon walking around at the bottom of this stream. <clears throat> All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great rest of your day. Enjoy the video. All right, word of the day, word of the day. Oh, we're back, word of the day. Charlatan. Charlatan. S, or S, C-H-A-R-L-A-T-A-N, charlatan. A charlatan is a person who pretends to know or be something in order to deceive people. Use it in a sentence. Thank you, I will. Some people thought he was a great leader, but others saw him as just a charlatan. See you at the end of another stream for another word of the day.